hello everybody we're here today for more per not person i was gonna say persona <laughs> let's go finally <laughs> fuck. Oh, no. fuck it's persona time i guess let me get my god oh, okay there we go there we go hey welcome hi guys uh we, we got we got we got dan bop and we got g we'll probably get barnabas later if we get the the big orange power man on screen but yeah how you guys doing today hey. Uh, I'm doing I had candy. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, share with the class. Please share. What did you say? Share your oh. candy <laughs> with the class. Talk about the, oh, talk I about would, the pops. <laughs> if I okay, I don't know why I craved blow pops because they're not even like my to go candy ever. But I craved black cherry and blue raspberry blow pops, but you can't get them in store. So I special ordered them, but you could only get them in boxes of 48. Oh. <laughs> I have a lot of them. Goodness. <laughs> so you just straight up, so you just buy huge ass packs of blow pops? I, so this has never happened to me before. <laughs> I just, you can tell I've been stressed out from work when I do something <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's so it's valid. Quite, you're quite literally doing it for yourself as a treat. Yeah. Yes, but if I could share them with you all, I would. Okay, you can easily just fax it to us. I don't know why you're not, but... Yeah, come on. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> oh, no, no, look geez. at my five-stream one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wow, I'm gonna take that blow pop. Nom nom, that's mine. No one else gets it. <laughs> oh, yes, it's blue raspberry. That's for space. Oh, fuck, I hate blue raspberry. <laughs> No. Okay. Do oh. Guys, do you guys remember? Sorry, we're not starting Ace Attorney right now, but I have this story. <laughs> do you guys remember that <laughs> one kind of old Nickelodeon Flash game where it's like it's Halloween and you play the role of like this this one guy like with the with like a plate of candy or whatever, and every time like the door knocks, you just get like a bunch of kids at the door and like you have to like hand them all like candy, right? You gotta like miss. You, you get to, like, maneuver around, like, the black licorice on your plate. But if you hand someone, like, one of the kids a black licorice, they go, Black licorice? I hate black licorice! And it just <laughs> goes so demonic until you just shut the door on them. <laughs> oh, my God, Kinton, thank you for the seven months! <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but that sounds delightful. It's, I have I, I'm not sure either, but, you know. It, it's lodged in my memory. It's, I gotta find it. <laughs> Anyway, Go Greeny, you got the facts down, bro. Yeah, welcome in, Greeny. Let's see. And Kian's on. It's Fuka Friday, and Damon Gant's strongest soldier is here. Let's go. I hope we get Meekins the God Slayer in this episode. We probably will, right? Right? Uh, I, I don't know. Do we? Wait, probably. Probably. Well, I think he kind of served his purpose already, didn't he? Yeah, but like, I feel if we we will make it to investigation. You feel like you're just gonna have one like, few like a few things to say or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, probably. Maybe. Probably. Wait, guys, we're doing this wrong. February twenty fourth is only like February what second? Oh fuck, you're right. Okay, okay, bye everyone. Let me go. Let me oh, and fun fact: today yeah. is Groundhog Day. Oh, it is. Did Groundhog the Groundhog day. see its shadow? I don't know. <laughs> Did it? Did Does it anyone know? Did it see Sonic X Shadow Generations? <laughs> I love that title. <laughs> Let's start the fucking game. <laughs> Can you imagine before this it was just Judge Phoenix and Edwards having that fucking title? <laughs> the jury oh, is totally like, was. The jury's like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? The judge is like, here underneath, like my little desk thing is just a shit ton of candy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> The court will now can reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Hi, man. Emma didn't come back. Oh yeah, she ran away. Oh, that's right. That's right. I we forgot to say what happened last time, but I think we already <laughs> know because we went back in time. We saw most of it already. You guys saw that shit twice. <laughs> yeah. Hi, <Yeah>. Natchez. <laughs> but yeah, the end of last case, um, it was revealed that the SL9 incident was also known as the Joe Dark. Yeah, Joe Dark Killings. And yeah. Emma has some connection to it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge regarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. 
This oh, fucker. Fuck. Why is he just drinking? <laughs> I, I gotta start drinking. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same as you. Wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Why is that not... <laughs> Capital? Why is that... Yeah, what the hell's going on with your text box, partner? <laughs> or was... Or was Jake Marshall supposed to keep saying that? I, who knows? <laughs> oh, I know. You're a patrolman. He's just drinking. <laughs> As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. Rushing wind? To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperate Oh, okay, wait, 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 uh, wait, guys, guys. Yeah? What pronunciation help? Uh, desperado. Desperado? Desperado. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> a desperado that. soul is as a bat. It's as boundless as the desert sand. No paper can sum it up. It's like the tale of Despero, except an additional syllable. <laughs> and also without the tale of. My fucking brain rot wanted just to say Despacito. <laughs> oh, no, me too. too. I was literally like, is that not Despacito? And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Partner, Maybe it's best. Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. <laughs> Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. What? In English! Damn. <laughs> alright, alright, damn, What's partner. What's with the judge's xenophobia? What the yeah. fuck? My job was to keep a wary eye on that born or bone orchard. They said I was supposed to make the round three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at a street-side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. Hey, no problem, Jog. I hope you enjoy Dungeon Meshi, which I think like a, I think that's like the, the hip new anime. Is Dungeon Meshi delicious and done? Yes, I totally watched the first two episodes on Monday. It Ooh. was fun. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Yo. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cow poke like you know about those. Yes, well, what about the fingerprints activated locks inside the evidence room? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses. Now don't they, pro Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. Yeah, Asbury, he's all yours. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is a bone orchard? Or orchard? I, I was wondering that when I fucking read it. <laughs> I need to know. Hold uh... it. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. Um, that room's so still. It's the name of a book. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Even time dies in there. I was just a caretaker who inherited the recording. That's kind of a raw line. So still, even time dies in there. You, uh, I, that is it, raw. That is kind of, you know, that is kind of raw. I, 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 I inherited. Ah, I knew I fucked inter up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, inter, you interred them? Videos of nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. Just like when the old back. <laughs> if nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Please do not remind me of that old bag, wench. Wench! <laughs> well, okay, asshole. <laughs> yeah, damn, we got a lot of attitude problems in this courtroom. 
Each time I'd erase a tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy has a flair for the dramatic, but it isn't going to do him any good. So, in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. Ace Attorney Raw Line compilation? Yo. Eh, I'm, sure there, I'm sure there's one out there. Is there? Hmm? Or should we make it? Should, yeah, it should it be us? <laughs> <on this? laughs> we just do a whole thing where it's like, hey, submit all your favorite Ace Attorney lines that go hard as shit. <laughs> and we'll compile all the that's times a, we read them. That's an idea. Yeah. That is an idea. I like it. Hold it. You used to be a detective, so you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. <laughs> and yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't no- I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite, a uh, incredible. Okay, but to be fair, could you draw out exactly how, like, the bike spokes and shit work from memory? It's very hard to do. I don't think I No, you pedal, wheels go brrr. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> The sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. No, ma now that he mentioned it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? Hi, vodka. Hi, vodka. <laughs> we have two vodkas here now. <laughs> Double oh my trouble. gosh, we do. There are two Vakas inside of you. What is it like? Th <laughs> the jog or the dog? <laughs> yeah. He hits them. What do we he's think he's them. drinking? Uh, I think vinegar. This is raw vinegar. <laughs> you ever seen the one, the one meme where it's like, uh, oh hey, uh, or like the vine where it's like, hey, you got some water? Uh, it's not water. Vodka. I like your style. It's vinegar. What? It's vinegar. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, Hold what it. was Jake Marshall drinking? I I still think it's like some type of health smoothie. It's like <laughs> that he's those... too embarrassed. It's a clear health smoothie. Yeah. It's like one of those like, 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 baby thumbnails that's like, what was he drinking? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. What is he drinking? But you made your rounds on that day of the crime, right? Hey, you are and you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that it ain't my style to do my job. <laughs> I I'm afraid I don't understand. Hi, Owls. Okay, guys, let's see if I got this. Right. No Desperado. Woo! Oh, okay. All right, hell yeah. All right, scream over. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, guys. <laughs> no Desperado. I know less rules get in his way. No desperados I know join the police force. How many desperados do you know? Not many. So, <laughs> Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime? Just between you and me, I didn't even set foot in the evidence room that day. Golly. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about Act. that? My bad. <laughs> Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I'm trying to, like, adjust Discord audio levels a tad. Because I'm like, I look at OBS and I'm like, oh, OBS, you're not even. You're not even with me. Uh, uh, audio balance, rah, rah. Rah. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How how does this guy avoid being fired? It, honestly, it's more impressive that he's avoiding being fired. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um, I think, what, what does Street Side Saloon? Hold it! What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. <laughs> Not even Angel Snake's lunches can be the parlor's Von Gogh spa- <laughs> What the fu- <laughs> Sepia pasta? Von Gogh? Like the dog? Clams! Clams! <laughs> God. Huh? So, so, so very, very light spoilers for like the Apollo Justice series. There is a dog named Von Gogh. <laughs> and it's like- And- Yeah. The only reason I know that Vongo means clams is because they told me it in fanfiction. Sit it. What up? 
Same. Fanfiction that Esper sent me. So it's <laughs> we're, we're full circle. Oh, that was such a good fic. <laughs> get all your get all your great Ace Attorney fics on archiveofourown.org. The the <laughs> lead the leading website for the best uh free d- d- fanfics to read. Specifically my great Ace Attorney fix or like uh, any fix. Oh, okay. The world is your oyster or your clam. Like, this stream is brought to you by <laughs> AO3. This stream was brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you mean to tell us? You abandon your police duties to eat some noodles? He's so real. Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. I'm eating tacos right now! Oh my god. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is usually where Edgeworth says. Did you not want to raise? Did you not want to raise this year? What an incredible. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. What's the fucking word? Impression. Impression. <laughs> you know, you have that like a reward they can claim in chat. <laughs> what an incredible table volleyball. <laughs> Hold it. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall? That's right, partner. Or as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me pin me to this crime, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. Okay, I can draw a bicycle, I can draw like a noodle. <laughs> um, That's right. Yeah, yeah, Esper, start draw drawing. A noodle? <laughs> <laughs> Those are really my only two specialties, I mean. My steel horse is waiting to carry me back west into the sunset. I can draw all of JoJo's steel ball run, which have horses. I mean, that that's kind of the three things I can do. Hmm. One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Apparently your super superiors don't. Because they supervisors. Okay, I have a trump <laughs> card up my sleeve, so I best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I'd better up the ante. Oh, so, yo, not just Texaboo. I remember you talking church. about that in the Discord server. Uh, Rip and Fly. Oh Thank yeah. What are we supposed to do? What do we have? Yeah. What the fuck happened? Oh my god, we have four pages. <laughs> Can we make it five? Oh boy. Oh no. Nar. Oh god. Nar. Oh wait, fuck, we have his prince. Okay. Womp womp. Oh, that's right. Dun, 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 dun. Do we present the fingerprints? I mean, I assume. I mean, it looks like ammo to me. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Objection, yeah, that's ammo. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, that is you being called in to testify like this? After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. Yo, hunk. Hi, Frosty. Hmm. Hey. It's quite simple. You left a huge... You left a very large trail behind of the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. <laughs> Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of the, that crypt. I pay my respects. That is, make my rounds about once a month. <laughs> oh my god. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. Objection! Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood! Witness! What is the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away. However, a luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? It seems to me 
There ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. Oh. <laughs> I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall. About the blood-stained fingerprints. Very well. You may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched his locker with my, where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprints are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See, I had nothing to do with it. Damn Bob. Damn Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> that, that looking at Chad and seeing that potion. Hmm. The witness's explanation appears valid. Although, there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. So true, bestie. Thank you. The, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can, I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. I can feel it. Joker personified. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What the fuck? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Hold it. So then, what about the bloody handprint? Wasn't mine. It's no mystery. Oh, sorry. Uh, please explain. My lock is covered with my fingerprints. It just so happened. Ooh. Hold it. Ha! The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Give one <laughs> thing straight, partner. <laughs> You ain't gonna get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You can't just say things and act like that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know why? Like, on the contrary, it's actually not a million to one. Like, no! I love it. He's just like... <laughs> He's like, no, oh! -uh. He's like, um, um, actually? <laughs> Unrelated. They're as different as night and day. Day and night? The lonely stoner frees his mind at night? Day and night. Oh, God. What? I'm like cereal and cereal. One's got to do with breakfast, while the other's a type of murder. He's right. Although seemingly alike, they're totally different. That doesn't prove <laughs> anything, Judge. It proves everything. The case is solved. I'm ready to hands out my verdict. <laughs> I'm so glad you understand me, partner. <laughs> I don't see what him... Uh, ha ha homonym? Hom ha homonyms. Homo homonyms. Yeah. Have to do with this. That's so funny. He's just using his charisma stat. That's it. <laughs> Hold it. How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. The Lonely Stoner? <laughs> <laughs> there was a bloodstain at the scene, though thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm. So that would mean... The murderer wearing gloves happened to place his hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint. That's the only logical conclusion. I can't let him score him out of this one. I've got to find something. Something decisive to tie Officer Marshall to this crime. It's interesting because I don't think it's necessarily incorrect with how they format these specific lines. But, like, to have so many of these lines start with, like, the lowercase letter in only this case, it's like, ooh, it's clearly, like, different people were in charge of the localization here. Also, this is something I've only noticed now um i've played this game a lot of times but only after voicing the judge do i like realize that the 
this is like the judge has gone a personality change um i think this is when he's he's getting very goofy in this case but we haven't seen that before really yeah so it's like yeah like it it just seems like oh like his personality is very different so that plus like the different types of writing and like the errors i'm like okay they, it's very clearly a different team yeah like it's clear this was like added in after the whole this like the, the main trilogy as a whole was like yeah. made and written oh yeah for and, sure yeah i've never ever noticed that before <laughs> like any of this so i'm like oh cool like <laughs> I mean, to its credit, it still fits really well. Like, if you if you didn't know yeah. if you didn't know that this was added in after, then you'd be like, oh, it still it still fits. Yeah, and even like, like I just said, like the judge is goofier. It still feels like oh, like playing it originally, I wasn't like oh, he's a completely different character or anything. But just voicing his lines, I'm like oh, I'm aware now that like I'm seeing some goofier things. Yeah. In a weird way, on, in a similar respect to what Dan Bob's talking about with Judge. It feels like Phoenix is a lot more competent and confident in this case, whereas, like, one case ago, he was kind of just flying at the seat of his pants, kind of. If that makes sense. Like, he's You're a lot right. more... That, that does make I sense. I feel also like he relies a lot on Mia, right? Like... But not in this case, because yeah, obviously cause... he can't, right? But right. Like, yeah, so maybe that's it, like... It almost feels like, in a weird way, I'm... You're playing as a post-Trials and Tribulations Phoenix, but you're somehow, like, in between the first and the second game. Yeah. That's a really interesting point. Hmm. And I guess you could make the argument that it's like, oh, this Phoenix doesn't really have, I guess, the personal stakes like he did with the last case where, like, Edgeworth's whole life, like, hung in the balance. Or, like, Maya's whole, uh, I guess, like, insecurities being there. Mm -hmm. Like, he has to kind of address or it kind of, like... Like, a lot of that is, like, flying by the sea of his pants, right? So it's, like, mm -hmm. he's dealt with all of that. And now in a case like this, which is, I guess, comparatively less higher stakes, I guess, personally, yeah. you know? Yeah, he does. he's not as personally invested in this case as he was with, like, pretty much the last one. Yeah. But, I don't know. Like, even some of the moves he's making and some of the logical conclusions he's making. Yeah, I don't know. It's cool to see. I wouldn't, like, call it bad or, like, inconsistent writing. It's just, like, cool to kind of have that, I guess, perspective knowing what we do about the series. Mm -hmm. Also, hi, Grim! It is interesting that, like, literally voicing these characters has added a new perspective yeah. to the game. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, like, noticing specific things more. Like, it's cool. Exactly. That's like some kind of bird. A bird that might mm, rise from the ashes, even, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't either. I can't think of a I, good example. I don't know. No, <laughs> you, you know that one Pokemon, Ho-Oh? Maybe a Ho-Oh. Oh my gosh. I used to call it Ho-Ho because <laughs> I didn't realize it was a... <laughs> Yo. I just oh. wanted to call it Ho Ho. Ho Ho. Oh yeah, just for fun. <laughs> Hold it. How do you know that? I think I said this already. Oh yeah, you did. I for I, I keep forgetting where. It's all right. We had a fun conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find something decisive. What, what's in our court rec? What's in the rec courts? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ooh. You, At one it? point, did he mention, like, the killer's wearing gloves or something? Yeah. Yeah. Does he know that? Should he know that? He must. Oh, yeah, should he know that? Wait, ooh. Hey. That's what I'm, yeah. Um. I don't know. In the video? Maybe? Wait, wait, wait. I forgot where the video was. Uh, You're, you yeah. there, you're there. Yeah. Is the killer wearing gloves in here? I don't know. Well, we know the gloves. I hate how you can't fast fucking forward. Yeah, where'd that feature wait. go? There we go. Oh, there's this... the actual fast forward feature. <laughs> Hi, Blue Badger. Are they wearing gloves? I think he... No. That the or that that looks like it gloves. It looks like there's a finger. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well yeah, like gloves where it's like 
Not mittens, but Meekins! Mika! Ah. My boy! <laughs> sir, how are you look at you look suspicious, sir. I'm gonna wail on you, sir. You know what? Oh, ah, sir, no. <laughs> Dude, it's turning to like a fucking Tekken match over there. <laughs> <laughs> Did he go? He's dead! I can't believe he fucking died. Meekin's fucking Did he died. do like they did in like, that one episode of JoJo's where they're like, oh, he could not have escaped. And then it's like, oh, but it turns out that he like shifted his bones. And it's like, oh, okay. Oh, wait, that. <laughs> <laughs> he just like rearranged his entire like body to just fit through a crack. And they're like, oh, of course. Of course he like broke all of his bones. Yeah, I mean, like, of course he does that. I mean... Would you expect anything else from that character? Hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. Okay, this is the mm. evidence room. This tells me nothing. That's a nothing burger. Uh... I'm just Fuck ah. it. Nope. Nope. Mikin's only used 3% of his power. <laughs> Myth input. Uh, uh, Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh, I'm not sure I follow. On Twitch.tv? Uh, it clearly uh, contradicts the, um, uh, that I saw. You thought wrong. <laughs> you don't sound very conf- Or, you don't sound very convinced, Mr. Right. Mr. Wrong. Objection overruled, Mr. Wrong! <laughs> Mr. I don't think right. That... <laughs> That's not yet. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> I don't think that wouldn't be any points with the judge. Lowercase. Huh. Okay, the murderer is wearing gloves. What did we not press? I'm just gonna... If this lets me skip through. Okay. That's because you... This. How did you put it? Pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. All that is in there now is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently, his fingerprints data was never changed. He must have been using the fingerprint lock without even knowing it. Hmm. Oh. Oh! Okay. Okay, uh -huh. sure! Okay. Interesting. Are you, start, are you starting to get the picture, partner? Oh, fuck. The picture? This seal of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzards. <sighs> There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. So long as my trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. Isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wrong. <laughs> Can you imagine a universe where, like, if you get a penalty, he just calls you Mr. Wrong the entire time? Yeah. Like, they, they just slightly alter the dialogue to where, like, if you keep fucking up, like, if you're, like, on one or two, like, bars left or whatever, he starts calling you Mr. Wrong. I love yeah. that. He gets just, like, increasingly more passive aggressive. <laughs> Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross examination. Y yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Oh. Try not to let the defense bully you too much. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you motherfucker. I bet it was you. What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime? Isn't that right, partner? If so, then video the only direct evidence you have. Objection! Objection! Video killed the radio star, <laughs> <laughs> but that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? What's a blind spot? It's a blind Places spot. you can't see. It blind spots a blind spot, Your Honor. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> the camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. Oh, but they're allowed to just to cut to wherever they want. If someone was familiar with the camera's position... <laughs> He could leave the room without being caught on tape. Oh fuck, I was eating something. 
We don't have time for your <laughs> right. speculation, Mr. Wright. Great, I was drinking something. <laughs> well, Mr. <laughs> Wright. <laughs> if you can show us evidence in this video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, please do so now. Oh, baby. But don't fuck it up. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna oh, save. Boy. I'm gonna save and I'll make sure this saves. What's you know funny what? is like, while you two are like, oh man, I was drinking something, I was eating something. Kyle's literally <laughs> eating while you two are reading your life. <laughs> nice. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Ooh. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. Now then, let's have another look at the video. Show us this incriminating evidence of the witness. Officer Jake Marshall! Motherfucker! <laughs> where'd, you, where'd that lead you? Back to me. It's a fucking blue badger. I forgot that this video keeps showing. That's why it's so fucking annoying. God. Okay. Okay. Do we think it's the gl It can't be the glove, right? I, I, feel like, I feel like we've used that before, right? Yeah, so. wait, we we have. Okay, um... Oh, whoa, whoa, yo! Meekins? Godslayer? I'm creeping up, sir! <laughs> what do you mean, what is this music? It's peak fiction, Ruthie. Yeah. Come on! It's a boss. This is, like, what, one of my choices for my own boss battle music. The first is, um, Bone Trussle. Trussle? Oh, you give Papyrus From, uh, vibes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fuck if I know. So it's, it's gotta be like when he gets... Fucked up? Yeah, but like... But when... like, it does... <sighs> it's he's... like so purposefully blocked. Is he wearing... <laughs> okay, Do we have like have a knife or something in the corner? <laughs> When's he attack? Okay. I have an incredible bloodlust approaching. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel like I said this before, Kianzen, but um... Megan's definitely, he has, um, oh my god, Commander's Hockey. Color of the Supreme King. He for sure does. Motherfucker. Okay, so, like, he stabbed here, but, like, how did he get stabbed? It's his knife. Oh, with a knife. Yeah, but his... <laughs> Okay, 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 li okay, listen. Listen, asshole. <laughs> yeah, Bob, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. This camera sucks. Why does it rotate like this? Honestly, who designed this? Um, and then it's just like nothing, right? Huh. Yeah. A nap would never. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> Where is it? Where is the So what are we looking We're looking for evidence that, that like he was wearing gloves. Is it the, that he's just, wearing gloves? Well the witness that Is it? Just incriminating evidence of Jake Marshall being here. Yeah. Oh, bother. You know what? Oh, I can't even look at it from here. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so fucked if we could actually check it from here, too? Oh, yeah, secure oh, the video <laughs> within the video. Um. I'm gonna look at the guide. Oh, bother. <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell you anything unless you say okay. you want it. Sounds good. I preach. Um. Let's see, where are we? Where? Okay, play. Okay, but mm, I don't know. Which one? Wait, wait, oh, motherfucker! Oh, you motherfucker! It's not there! It's not there! It's not there! Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, he's not aware of the fingerprint thing in the bobber. Wait, is the light on? 
No, no, okay, we've already... No, oh. not that one. The one down here. Maybe over here, over here, over here. No, but this is here now. Yeah. It wasn't before. But that's so funny because I looked at the guide, I saw that, and I was like, okay, it might take them a while to find out, and then you immediately clocked it. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh, but what what is it, though? Did we figure out what it was from, like, last time? No, it's just, like, something. It's, it's just, like, a cloth, right? Is it? Oh, no, yeah, 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 because, yeah, okay, we present that, because it proves yeah. that yeah, that was opened. Yeah, because he wouldn't have been able to open, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that! Take that! I got you now, you little shit. Bring your attention back to the security camera. It's a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are t our tempers. I'm going to say all this shit to my sisters who live in Texas <laughs> when I visit them next. <laughs> Did they get a quote, Jake Marshall? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be like, the days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. And my sisters will be like, what the what are you talking about? You don't yeah. even live here. That's awesome, though. <laughs> Could you sum up that? Can you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very well. <clears throat> you can clearly be seen in this video. Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. <laughs> Did the judge sing that? Why <laughs> that judge? <laughs> what? All, right. All right, judge, it's your time to shine. I, yeah, I was go so on, judge. taken back because I was also eating when that popped up, and I was just like, pause, like, wait, what? Yeah, uh, what see the... <laughs> see the... <laughs> He like jumps in and he's like, I got it, I got the he's, key. He's like standing at the defense bench like the assistant right now. I like he's like pointing, like really like, it's my time. See this locker that has a white cloth sticking out? <gasps> this is the witness's locker. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. Thanks, <laughs> Judge. Like, the Thanks, tag judge. team. <laughs> yeah, the baton passing. He can just kinda of... His pointing animation has like the gavel. Oh, Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> Judge, give me, choose, <laughs> choose a side. The way Pick a lane. It's gone. What's the of this, Officer Marshall? I thought you knew. You were with me over yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know, but I want to know if you know, Officer Marshall. <laughs> when the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. <laughs> Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. He's like very stealthy. What the fuck? Was it crawling? <laughs> Order. Order! It would seem that- oh. Hold your horses. Sorry, partner. But you got the wrong man. Hold horse. <laughs> like the entire horse? The entire horse. Part of partner. the horse. No. <laughs> Peanut, the horse is here. Peanut. The horse is here. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Thank you. So what if my locker was opened? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. Oh, Marshall. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened a locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Oh, Ooh. boy, Marshall. Oh, Marshall. Yeah? Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? Well, we want you. <laughs> yeah, it's always Marsha. Ruthie gets it. <laughs> this guy isn't just playing dumb. He's stupid. He really doesn't know. Yeah. I legit thought that we all together collectively talked about this. Uh, oh, I hate to ruin your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I call your bl I call your bluff. You say I open that locker? Now prove it. I fucking okay. Fucking will. <laughs> Do it. You will. Do it, you will. I will. I will. <laughs> no shot. Uh, a fingerprint sensor? Ooh, they, I, I think this. we literally talked about this in front of him, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it's like one thing if we talked about it without him, but like we we very much did talk about it with him. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Like, are you an idiot? Like, what's going on here? Officer Marshall, you're just stupid. 
<laughs> yeah. Talk... Are you serious or are you joking? It's all the vinegar he's drinking. It's making him stupid. Oh, so <laughs> true. We talked about this earlier today. You were here. <laughs> the lockers can only be opened by the detective they belong to. What kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. Oh, shit, that's me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yep, that's me. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. But here's the weird thing about it, right? If he didn't know about the fingerprint locks, then why would, wouldn't he just... Oh, wait. Why wouldn't he just wipe? Wait, okay, wait. He opened the locker so that he could place something in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if he didn't want it to be brought back to him, why didn't he just choose a different locker? Because he wasn't aware of the fingerprint lock. Um, I think I might know the answer, but I forget if it oh. involves a spoiler, so. What? So, mm. My, my, my thinking, and I don't think it's a spoiler, because I think we can figure, like, assume it through these context clues, but it's like, oh, if his fingerprints are gonna get anywhere, I might as well make it the locker that he owns, so he can, like, fake, I guess, being like, well, I mean, of course my fingerprints are on that locker, it's my locker, because it'd be way that's more good. suspect if it's someone else's locker. Okay, yeah, you know what, that's completely fair. I mean, I, Alright. <laughs> he's not, he's not stupid here. Just in every other <laughs> aspect, he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just with, like, all this stuff right now. So, Sheriff, what do you have to say in eight words or less? Damn. Fuck. Grunts count as a word. Oh. I only got one word for you, partner. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick animation, though. That yeah, was actually that, a really I mean, cool one. I Love that. Okay, uh, rank your favorite animations. Not now, though. Okay. <laughs> order! 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 Witness! Explain yourself! If this is a joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you, this is no joke, Officer Marshall. I'd be I laughing. I assure you, it's quite based. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so ready. Anyway. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Urgh! Okay. <laughs> Please answer the question. Judge, I don't think you can say that. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what is he now, a bullfighter? That's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure the rest out from here. See what I mean? He's like so much more competent in this case. Right? Yeah. We can? Have a look at these floor plans. There's Bye. no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Bye, Tristan. Thanks for popping in. Later, Tristan. Oh, bye-bye, Tristan. Yeah, yeah, Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so, then, where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well, then, let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? Oh, you know. Also, you know. I gotta go potty, so I'll be right back. Okie doke. Bye-bye. Take that! Officer Marshall was standing right here. Uh... There, but that's... That's where the victim, Detective Goodman, was. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is Officer Marshall! It was you dressed up like Detective Goodman! Objection! But that's preposterous! Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. Objection! May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. When I entered the evidence room, I asked him to show his card, sir! Yes, and how did Detective Goodman respond? He suddenly pulled a knife on me! Oh my god, Larry? Oh my gosh, it's the same fucking voice! <laughs> like, yo, Nick, it's me! <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy 
mud slayer, Nick. Like Nick, did you hear? <laughs> I didn't realize. It's literally the same fucking voice. <laughs> <sighs> Something about the officer's story puzzled me. In Phoenix's recollection of that memory, he just imagined Larry's voice. If the man had his had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? Oh. Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. What You're kind making of it. Voice is that? <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, I mean <laughs> No, I liked it. <laughs> You should have heard my fucking beacons. I was doing just Larry. <laughs> uh, the answer is simple. He couldn't show it. Mm. As you can see, Detective Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Oh, I get it. Oh, you took a cough drop. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> It'd what which one that. is it? Like, have a Snickers. Like, you're not you when you're hungry. Yeah, take that! Have a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> if he showed that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? Oh, gee, what's the demon? <laughs> You've got quiet imagination, partner. We got a term for that. It's called uh, circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. You're gonna have to do better than that to break a detective. Unless you have hard evidence proven I dressed up as the victim. Like your fingerprints hmm. are on the fucking locker. Oh yeah? You don't have my, like, my uh, spirit Halloween receipt, do you? Didn't think so. Motherfucker! Yes. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition, but your looks make up for it. <laughs> thank, thank you. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence? Any evidence proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim? I want this fucker to go down for insulting my beard. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. Does that right? I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. Ugh, this can't be happening. Edward's tagging. It's so obvious he's the one. What can I do? Oh, tag, tag. <laughs> it looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you run into a wall with no place to go, Return to the basics. Basics? Yo, T Mac, what's up, lawyers? Thanks for the resub at two months. <laughs> we're we're gonna learn like, the basics of lawyering right now. Yeah, I like I'm lawyers. Going back to law makes school. me think. <laughs> it makes me think of Tim Gunn sending designers in Project <laughs> Runway. <laughs> Iconic. For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Nick. Try thinking outside the box. Okay, so you know what? Okay, I did say earlier, I did feel like we were playing like a post trials and tribulation Phoenix. But he's still, okay. Okay. Yeah, he's still relying. Okay, yeah. But this is the first time, right? Like that he's really. Yeah, no, he had like, like no oh. Maya, no Faye next to him, nothing, you know? Yeah. He's like kind of just in this. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Yo. Why do you think this locker was opened in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did, despite the chance it might be discovered later as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument, Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then, after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. 
So, just what exactly is this piece of cloth? Yeah, what the fuck is this? Perhaps. Perhaps the video is the key to all of our unanswered questions. Again! <laughs> um... Oh wait, there's more! <laughs> I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. What do you mean? Nope, none. We nothing at all. We have five pages! Four. I have this tape. Listen, I, listen, I have three things. My attorney's badge, the picture of Misty Faye, and the tape. We don't, That's all we, I got. We left, we, oh my god, we left the Misty Faye photo at home. No wonder we're, we're struggling. struggling. We have Misty Faye at home. The Misty Faye at home. <laughs> god, he's still staring at me. He's always there. Watching. Oh, we're about to see him again. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, actually, wait, hold on, hold on. Did he get fucked up in any way? Dude, they, they caught... They, they beat the shit out of my man. What? What? Why is he Why is he taped up here? What's going on? He was just wait, born like that. Wait, okay. is he taped up in the video? I'm, l is let's he? see. Let's we're see. about to fucking find out. <laughs> Very well. Let's take yet another look at the security tape. God, even they, they know. They were so proud of this tape. Yet another tape. <laughs> After committing the crime, the witness opened the locker to put away the white cloth. Please show us why the witness had to open his locker. Okay, so yeah, I know he is. Okay. All right. I, I love... You know yeah, go on. To be fair, like, the animation for, like, a 2005 Nintendo DS game looks great. If I was them, I'd want to show it off, too. Oh, However, yeah. <laughs> I know, honestly, yeah, but th this, this is just excessive. <laughs> yeah. But I do love the Meekins, uh model that they have. Yeah, I love the. Oh, that's so powerful. Yeah. It does look really good. <laughs> why? Why out of all of the characters from this era, like this fucking like trilogy of like sprite based era, the one with the best three D model is motherfucking Mike Meekins <laughs> Um, it's Iconic. because he's God Slayer, Mike Meekins. Like, oh, you're so so true. Obviously, he's named that for a fucking reason. Like, come on, he, Esper. Like, he come, killed like, God so he could enter the third dimension. <laughs> okay. Oh, why? Why? Why would he have to open his locker? What did he have? What did he have? What did he have? It was a, a confession, <laughs> like a love confession, <laughs> that Meekins gave him. Dude, shout out to Mika oh. for like jumping at him. That was crazy. Maybe to wipe. No, no. I was gonna say maybe like to wipe the knife, but like, fucking gracious. Goodness me. Goodness I gracious, I Council. It... Yeah. <laughs> that's that's well... different. Hmm. There he is. There he is. Do, 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 do. This my, oh. this music might haunt my nightmares. Oh, where's, game, where's that Cozy D clip? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Yo, Mango, what's up? <laughs> Bringing thou fuckery. Bringing thy fuckery. Well, good news. We have so much fuckery in this stream already. The oh. fucking blue badger. Um, I would recommend with the video I just linked. I haven't looked at the comments, but like, don't look at the comments just in case. Oh, yeah, don't look spoilers. at the comments. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. watch the video; it's very good. True, Ruthie. That's so fucking funny. This is the first thing people hear when they enter hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first layer. Hey, Mango. Oh. <laughs> so why does he? The knife is clearly here. He doesn't, like, stab Meekins, but, like, he punches with, like, the blunt end. I think Judge is watching that video very tentatively. It's like Judge at the reaction cam in the top right corner up there. Judge reaction <laughs> video? Live Judge reaction. What the fuck oh is my this? god, Judge reaction channel? He has you know how, like, you know how Legal Eagle um is a little... Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But the Judge. <laughs> Okay. I saw on my YouTube rec the other day, it was like, real lawyers react to Phoenix interrogating a parrot. <laughs> I watched Classic. that! Oh my Wait, god. Really? Oh my yeah, gosh. 
uh, the Save Data team are in there, and they're very good. Um, oh, I've seen a couple of their 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 videos, and I'm like, I gotta I gotta watch more of their stuff. I just pop in depending on what case they're on. So okay, I'm thinking it's this here. It's this here because he had to, like, obviously he doesn't plan to get like injured here, right? And like his his knife isn't like bloody, so Meekins, being God Slayer, injures him. So. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, because that's part of the fabric of his clothes, maybe. So that's what I guessed why he used his own locker because I was like, if he got like blood on himself, that's his blood. Obviously, um. they could like see whose blood it is. So I think that's right. Yeah, fuck. Like he wouldn't put that in any other locker because they're like, what's this? Like if he had the choice. He wouldn't put that in any other locker because they'd be like, "Whose blood is this? Let's test it." <laughs> well, yeah. you got it, Esper. So, oh, hell yeah. for some reason, you disguised yourself as Detective Goodman and entered the evidence room. I don't know what that reason was yet. Yet. However, something unexpected happened. Officer Meekins barged in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. However, hi Bardos. Officer Meekins panicked, and the white coat you were wearing was so soiled with blood. Soiled it. Soiled it. Welcome soiled in, it. Barnabas. Is he? I'm. I'm not hearing him. I mean, he joined. I. I. Uh, the Phantom Barnabas. Schrodinger's Barnabas. <laughs> A bloody white coat. You couldn't just walk out like that. So you hid the coat in your locker. Not bad, huh, partner? Yeah, 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 yeah. I called him partner. What? Are they in love? <laughs> <laughs> now then, Officer Marshall. Are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Well, what did I do? Fuck you in particular. Oh yeah, fuck <laughs> you in particular two years ago. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> if you were only half as persistent then as you were today, we all wouldn't have to be here, now would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what, what you did. All of it. All right. It seems the time has come. Oh, fuck, there's more. Oh, wait. <laughs> I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out and managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. Now 516. <laughs> <laughs> so the supposed victim was really you. But there is one thing I still don't understand. Large quantities of blood traces were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Arthur Meekins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's the donor. It looked like too much blood for that. He's still oh, fucking fuck. lying. He's st this <laughs> motherfucker. You had to do it. Had to do it to him. Yeah, no, it's iconic, Mango. <laughs> I love playing as Phoenix in that game. Yo, iconic. There is one caught. Blah blah blah. Five fifteen. You knocked him out, but what else? Uh, I don't know if you just knocked him out. Hold it. You put a knife on Officer Meekins and try to drive him off? Let's say I was a little surprised. I only plan on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Officer Meekins certainly is a one in a million type of person. Yes, he is. Mistaking a detective for an intruder and demanding to be shown his ID. All have to he think must of... be a real godslayer. 
<laughs> he certainly is. I do have the receipts to prove it. I'll have to think a little more about his raise this year. When did Edgeworth get so much influence? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it has to, unfortunately, be taken from, from Detective Gumshoe's pay. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's not unfortunate. It's expected. <laughs> Gumshoe just pays to work. That's, that's <laughs> what happens. <laughs> yeah, he literally pays to work. He's gonna pay the toll. Anyway, he threw himself at me, and I ended up cutting him slightly, just a little bit. I I'm sorry it had to turn out that way. <laughs> With me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> I don't know what to say. So, what happened next? Just to, like, what Ruthie be like, <laughs> Ruthie just asked, like, why? Does he have a knife? And the judge is like, "Oh, that's the one you attacked him with. Okay, you can keep it." Like, and the tree. Are you sure about that? Hold it! But the blood found on the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you? What are you blind? The victim shown on that tape is me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole the evidence from the locker. Actually, no, I didn't. You motherfucker. Why not? Didn't feel like it. When I opened the locker, <laughs> the evidence was already gone. What? Mr. Edgeworth, where is that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. What the fuck? <laughs> Detective Goodman's locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. I had a feeling we'd wind up here sooner or later. If everyone involved here is related in some way to that case, I'd better take another look at the files. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. Hold it! When you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? The SO9 incident. Two years have passed since that case was closed. It was going to completely end with a transferal that day. Not if I had anything to do with it. That incident's not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only the detective who, had, who was in charge of it can look through. The evidence. I wanted to have a look at it myself one more time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. Arthur Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? I wonder why. That day was my last chance. That's why I... Okay, I think... Well, look through the file. I think it's gotta be, um... It's four pages. It's gotta be here. Because we see... Neil Marshall. Mmm... And investigator one of was Jake Marshall. How the Ooh. fuck did I do this back in the day? <laughs> like, yeah, right? It's Let... like, I know I used a guide for a lot, but like, did I use... Yeah, I must have used it for this, because I... <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Objection! Uh, this evidence clearly revealed the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are that evidence and the statement just now related? We've heard they this are... before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they aren't, are they? Womp womp, dooba dooba doo boop. Not at all. Mr. Right, or shall I call you Mr. Wrong? Please think oh. over the facts before making accusations. I'm getting more passive aggressive and petty. <laughs> I don't think that won me any points with the judge. <laughs> well, I'm gonna save <laughs> and make the sure. The judge just writes minus five, like, <laughs> on his little notes under Phoenix's name. <laughs> Let's just press everything. Hold it! Why did you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transferal, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you did it to fool the security camera? And the detective's ID card? I stole that morn- I stole that the morning of the incident. So that really was why Goodman started filing out that lost item report. 
I'll return to that ID card. I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's parking lot. That's not really returning. Why? Okay. Yeah, what? <laughs> Uh, you see, I returned it. I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> the ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So, essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean, partner? You're stupid. I mean, the uh, fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Normally, that locker should not have opened. So it opened because a rubber glove was stuck in the door by chance? Then Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. Which, I think we actually have evidence to prove that. Yeah? It's in the, uh, you remember the, uh, the, the report file that had, like, all the numbers on it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, no, not that, not that. La last page, I think. Uh, I think. Or... No, not that page, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the other last page. <laughs> This one. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no. This is this is the ID card that... This is them entering. Yeah. Yeah, but this is... We don't have so any Bruce evidence. So Bruce Goodman is Jake Marshall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Hmm. So... Meekins came in earlier, and then he came in later. So Goodman had to have entered with whoever this is? Maybe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, multiple people can enter at the but with one ID <laughs> card swipe. That's crazy. Because like if he entered with Meekins, he would have said something or known that this was Goodman. Now obviously Edgeworth would have said something. Yeah. If if, if he dude, who that lucky guy? <laughs> and dude, I love the seven 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 and the four twenty. It's so fucking funny. I know. Honestly... Who's that lucky guy? <laughs> I don't know, you could I don't just yeed your last haul. <laughs> I don't know if we oh need my God. that specifically now, though. Why? I returned it to the ground! T Mac, you just unlocked a memory that I thought was lost forever. Enter. Oh my God. Well, Phoenix is saying something about the files. Yeah, but like, where do we present it? He meant he talked about this before, right? Yeah. Disguised. ID card. <laughs> what do you mean, partner? Partner? <laughs> so then, what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, maybe, maybe... This is the easiest thing to, like, I guess, refute. Although, I guess, mm, Motherfucker. I mean, I don't know if that's a lie, though. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a lot of blood in that room. Yeah. Where, Bruce where the Goodman fuck does this did... have anything to do with it? The jar? Yeah, because we found that in the evidence room. I don't know if it's time for that yet. Yeah. I got an idea. Okay. Ah! <laughs> All things lead back to the badger. Got an idea, I got an idea. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. that's my idea. We stop here. <laughs> oh God. Nah. <laughs> Not on the blue badger's face. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mother yeah. Motherfuck. Sure. <laughs> Motherfucking fuck mom. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nor. 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 Yeah, ever look looked at this? Do we uh, I don't do we even get funny dialogue without Emma? Oh fuck, you're uh, right. probably not. Like who's gonna bounce off of us, the judge? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, judge, get down here, man. 
it's all parking lot stuff. Oh, wait. So, yeah, this also proves that Bruce Goodman took stuff. Because it's like, that, that's the time, right? That's the day. Oh, right. Or, no, maybe yeah. that was, maybe that was, um... What statement well, are we trying to refute right now? Yeah, I was just about to ask, like, we're not... I don't know quite yet. Hold on. What, what day was this? We don't have any day, okay. But we know that whatever happened, like, the murder happened on the 21st. Let's try reading his statements very carefully. Yeah, okay. Okay. Do it that way. Do it that way. Okay. So yep, probably not that, that's too vague. That's fine. We stole okay. the detective's ID. Yep. Maybe okay. I'm trying to check out the evidence. Actually, let me let me press it again and see what further stuff we got. Disguise yourself as Detective Goodman. Yeah, it's because fucking um he okay. needed to or else it's suspicion, yeah. blah blah blah. Oh wait, Camera. yeah, this This is where uh Phoenix mentions oh yeah, Goodman must have taken it beforehand. Yeah, okay. I think it's oh, oh baby, oh baby, I think we figured it out. I think it's We the, did? I think I think it's <laughs> this, I think it's the SL9 note. No! Fuck oh. me. <laughs> I have a feeling that has something to do with it, but I feel like it's one of those evidence that you follow up with. Ooh, to, probably. Like, yeah, supporting so, evidence. Um, okay, you dress like I plan to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting... Meekins, I knocked there. him out. Yes. I managed to escape. I knew which area the cameras wouldn't be caught. There, there wasn't, wasn't a murder. murder. Wait, is that the end of it? It's is the there anything it, after yeah. that? That's the end. Indicates a crime. That's the place. end. That's the end. Are you blind? I think th this is a clear <sighs> contradiction where it's like, oh, there's too much I... blood, so why? How? Hold how on. can we justify the amount of blood? Wait a minute. Go to the court record real quick. Yeah. Um, you look at the floor plans. Floor plans. It's somewhere. Oh, it's back here. Yeah, because there's like a there's like a huge. Yeah. yeah, like we marked, like they marked on the thingy where they found huge puddles of blood. Yeah. And it can't all have come from like Meekins' hand. Yeah, because, I mean, he bled a lot, but I don't know about that much, you know? Evidence is gone. Stole the evidence. I remember that was like a big thing during the investigation. No one involved here is related in some of the records. Fuck. <laughs> Puddle of blood. Alright. What's fucking fucking A. Uh huh. There wasn't any murder if I Maybe? Fuck it. No. Nah, fuck it. Load state. <laughs> Mid flam. Wrong loaded state. Gary? State. Groundhog Day. <laughs> Which is today. Hmm. Alright, Dan Buff, have you got a guide? Can you yeah. can you tell us at least which statement to press? Um no, or it no. says to press them on every statement. Did you press, press every statement? Fuck, I probably didn't. It was that is that what we have to do? Oh um, and then it? and then I think oh, something my else. God, okay. We didn't even do this one. If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transferal. Or maybe we did. I, I feel just, like I... Yeah, so I just went back. I went too far back in time. I, 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 I dangle red this. Right, I'm Boomhauer right. again. All right. Dangle Boomhauer. Enjoy your dangle, food, Dangle, 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 before. Dangle, 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 Dangle Clint Trail, man. Dangle, dangle, Von Karma with the tether. Left on the floor. What do you mean, partner? So funny. <laughs> Fed up. It's like one of those meme <laughs> videos. <laughs> Knocked him out. He had it coming. He, he had, had it coming. coming. He only, he only had himself to blame. Oh, wait, this one might be. Those who go, go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I didn't think it would make a difference, though. The security tape is erased every six hours. If I 
If all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However, you bloodied your coat in your struggle with Officer Neekins. If someone was in the security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins doing, doing during that time? What else? He was sleeping like a baby. So what you're saying is, on that day... Huh. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Finally. Fire away, partner. It's a free country. <laughs> Shit, America. Just remember, I'm also <laughs> free to decide whether or not to answer. We don't have claim well, the fifth in Japan. You... Japan, yeah. for you. <laughs> Why did you do this? Actually, it makes sense that we had to press everything, because this is like a confessional. Oh, that does make sense. Yeah. Stealing a detective's ID, injuring a police officer? This is no small <laughs> offense. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. Like I said, this isn't your case. This one's mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Mm. The witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. No, please, judge, no. Be as detailed as you can. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you know why? But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Dark was convicted for those crimes. One thing I can say for sure, he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it turned out. But there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? No one's talked about Tell it. Tell me everything. <laughs> yeah, no one's talking about it. I need to know. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find out. Then how do you know they're not talking about it if they don't talk about it? Come on. <laughs> Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe I should present him with what I think his real reason is. I had a feeling um, we'd wind up here sooner or later. Okay, we read this already. Yeah. All right. Okay, we know what to do. Tell me an excruciating detail. Oh, Misty Fay. <laughs> Show Misty Fay. Show us Misty Fay. Um, I can't remember which page it was on because I'm sure it's gonna ask what which one victims. Yeah. Objection. 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 Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SO9 incident. Sounds like you've been spitting too much cactus, spitting too much cactus juice, partner. Sokka? <laughs> Sip, spitting, sipping. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sipping and sipping. Spitting, sipping, you know, spittoon. <laughs> I have the SO9 incident file here. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. <clears throat> and a list of murder victims. Ooh. Neil Marshall, are you related to this man? Neil Marshall. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of the name. Two years ago. He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? A prosecutor? He must have been talking about the King of Prosecutors award. No one wants that. Now I remember. <laughs> prosecutor Neil, Neil Marshall. <laughs> I remember Prosecutor me and Renar Renar. Prosecutor Renar. He doesn't even hear like anyone talk the name, like say the name the entire trial. So he's like, oh yes, Prosecutor Marshall. <laughs> Neil Marshall is a very normal name for this game. My God, yeah. <laughs> Barnabas out of nowhere with the comment. <laughs> Let's go, Barnabas. <laughs> oh, yeah, he... I slipped into into this call like ten minutes ago, but I didn't realize I was in actually. <laughs> Yeah, we saw you in, and we were like, oh, Barnabas, and then, like, you didn't say anything, and we were like, okay, well. I thought I was just watching the stream. I meant to enter now. Oh. <laughs> Schro Schrodinger's co-host. <laughs> <laughs> he handled the SL9 case before I did. Listen, 
My presence was felt, even if I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you were here in spirit. That's right. He was killed. And that case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? He was my brother. Oh, it's, it's so weird seeing him without his hat. He looks kind of cool, though. I don't yeah. Know. He was investigating the murder of Damon Gant, chief detective at the time. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were just desperate to prosecute the killer. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. Like hand to hand combat? <laughs> In a 1v1. <laughs> this was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. He fought him in Splatoon and needless, needless to say. Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> Neil splatted out. <laughs> <laughs> he was a. Oh my god. <laughs> He was. I'm fine. Uh, arraigned. I'm still, arraigned. Arraigned. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking of a spider. He was arraigned and incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least according to the public records. What do you mean? <laughs> they squared off in an Applebee's parking lot. Behind the Denny's, Your Honor. <laughs> my brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. He would have won. Nah, he'd win. No one could have beaten him in a fight. Literally, not nah, he'd win. <laughs> he'd win. <laughs> and but that's nobody it. could defeat Riku. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, like... And that's it. That's your reason for your insane actions. He no L's on his record. <laughs> There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. I just. Appear on his head magically. That's amazing. Only Bishel's well, in this stream. You're so right. <laughs> at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. That was the last day the SL9 case could be reopened. Not satisfied Ooh. with its resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. <laughs> the things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. And it's got to be more than just that. So if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. Now, hold on, hold on. We, we, we've disproved the 515 murder, but I mean, the 516 murder could have still happened. I mean, you kind of, yeah, you know. <laughs> Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. Objection! Oh yeah, she's my client. Uh, but, but, wait. <laughs> Which of these places did they find the body? They found the body at the prosecutor's parking garage. Yeah. Okay. So meaning, uh, but the whole thing was like, they found, they think they saw a murder happen at the fucking, um, uh, the evidence room, uh, and that's how we got into this whole fucking thing. Which is kind of yeah. dumb, because, like, the video doesn't even show a dead body, it just shows Meekins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when they come in, there's no dead body in there, they're just, they're just an unconscious Meekins. But it's so. But I guess the reason we had to investigate this anyways is because they allegedly saw Bruce Goodman there, so, like, that yeah. is worth and, investigating. Well, and there was, like, a shit ton of blood, apparently. Oh, that's yeah. Right. It's not as dumb as, like, we as you would think it is, but it's still, like, the body was over there. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, like, yeah, a bunch of, um, misunderstandings. <laughs> Fun, like, <laughs> just, yeah, I just coincidences. Think if, they, if they actually think there were two murders, you would think they'd have two bodies? No. <laughs> they just have <laughs> one body and circumstantial evidence. 
Oh, but wait, there's more! Objection! Fuck you! Read the line! Uh, Which is why we examine the incident at the police department today. But uh, There is only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. There yet remain the mystery of the simultaneous murder at the police department. It seems to me the boy's got the draw on you, partner. All the mysteries of the police department have been uncovered. No contradictions. Remain. That's a weird way to split up that. <laughs> the murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Skye. Also, is it just me? Or is this case specifically a lot of, like, sentences that stop in the middle and you have to keep going? Because I feel oh, like yeah. the other cases didn't have that, right? I think it's yeah, no. especially in just this section that that happens a lot. Which is it's weird. like a lot of run-on. Yeah. Yeah. That Ooh, when we stream or when we play nine 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 together that one time, that was. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the run on there was crazy. In yeah. Incredible, honestly. <laughs> there were no errors in the testimony of the witness, Angel Star. If you have a Speaking response, enemy, make it one word or less. Objection! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that works too. I rest my case. Damn, he rests his case. Have we ever heard that before? What the fuck? Did you guys see that back there? Emma Wait, was standing next to Phoenix. Wait, really? Did anyone else see that oh, back shit. there? Oh, shit. She oh, back? Fuck. Clip, clip. Yeah. <laughs> a I ghost? Saw that. It was like a ghost. <laughs> it was a ghost. It's like one of these, like, creepypasta, like, mysterious photos where there's a person that shouldn't be there. Yeah, she's not supposed to be there right now. I mean, have you seen that photo of like a like three boys and there's like an extra arm that shouldn't be there? Oh my I'm god, not no! <laughs> I'm not Already... crazy, Ruthie thought. <laughs> oh, what happens if I, I go three boys she was really there. She was really there, you have to believe me! <laughs> <laughs> Charge. Oh my god, <laughs> why? <laughs> I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> like, why is no one talking right now? This is so weird. You. Jesus, I'm sorry, my mind's not no, in the good. game. You're good. It seems this trial has reached its conclusion. There's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time. Disproving the alleged murder at the police department. Yeah, let's go, Owls. Let's go, Owls. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera's tape really was fake. But I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana's guilt. Oh, you should have. <laughs> now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. Ooh. Hooray! It's my favorite part. <laughs> I can finally play table fucking volleyball. The court finds the defendant. He's gone! Hold it. Hold Push it! Push back! Uh, Your Honor, wait! Emma, what the hell? The defense has an objection. A scientific objection. Uh, right? R what, what, what do you mean, right? I'm over That's here. That's your fucking name. Mr. Wright. Girl's guardian. They just keep picking them up like strays. <laughs> oh, your honor, in a please, sense. Uh... Please, your honor. All I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please. How old is she supposed out. to be? She's 15, Six? I think. 15? Yeah, okay. 15, 16, something like that. 16. There we go. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. What Ooh. a nice guy. What a good guy. A I... nice guy? Mm. <laughs> a... Uh oh. A, a, good, a good guy. A nice guy. What man. a good fellow. <laughs> a kind fellow. <laughs> I. I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Cho Dark killings. Now that she mentioned that, the names of both Sky Sisters were in that file. But that's where I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day. So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing. The other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found in Detective Gumshoe's locker. But no fingerprints are found on it, right? No, but 
I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So, I ran over there and looked at it again. Huh? So, you, did you find something? Um, no. Oh. Huh? Huh? Sorry. I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. Hmm. Um, <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. And I'm just an attorney. I was, gonna, I was thinking that. <laughs> and I'm just an attorney. But Mr. And I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. <laughs> but Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them. Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If Wait. anyone can save Lana, it's you. Later, no on. Me? Oh, boy. <laughs> Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um, five it, minutes? <laughs> it appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Wright! I am sorry I can't be of more use. Still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. Y yes, Even though it honor. seems like we fucking do. Because we have... started this trial with the, um, the Meekins thing, and that, like, that yeah, was a that, bit. That was... that was a bit. And Jake Marshall was also a bit. Now we're on another bit. Yeah. For... <laughs> if ever I've needed to concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with that handprint in Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? I mean, I have to. You know? gotta. Objection! I'll make it up. <laughs> this handprint left at the crime scene. Clearly, show the contradiction! Yep. <laughs> the only thing that seems clear is your grasping, Mr. Wright. <laughs> You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me. Is there a problem with them? Oh yeah, big problem. <laughs> um, yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Yep, something's missing. Missing? Mm -hmm. You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? Yep. Yes, something that, when drawn, will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Hmm... Let us pray the defense isn't simply trying to buy time. It's on sale. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here. All this fucking evidence. There's gotta be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing in the floor plans? Oh, I think baby. I know. Uh huh. Is it the fucking base? Oh, is Maybe? it the fucking base? Maybe? Oh, 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 something is missing. Although it wouldn't be on the floor plans, but I mean, let's I mean, save. The, the, the frame, I mean, the wording is the same. I mean, like... I'm going to save again. And again? Yeah, maybe one more time. There we go. Maybe you? Oh, fuck As they me. say back west, even a blind man can get hit with, can hit, can hit with buckshot. Are we right? That is, so long as he's facing the general direction. Ah, bitch. Womp womp. It seems Mr. Wright's not sure which direction to face. It's no use. Take this. The more evidence there is, more <laughs> the more wrong choices. He's Fucking right. beast. Yeah, no kidding. Just calm down, Mr. Wright. Try and remember what the evidence room was like on the day of the crime. <laughs> okay, I got yeah, it. All right. I, I don't know. There. Um, I didn't look at the guy, but I'm pretty sure... Um, is it the glove? Try the blue badger. <laughs> <gasps> no oh! fucking way! Oh my okay, god! Please. I'll prove it this time. Like right? Like <laughs> it's gotta be. He's not on there. Our boy, yeah. Motherfucker! You my motherfucker. special boy. Yeah. Way to go, yeah. Again. Yeah. Yes. 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 What yes. about that piece of plywood? Good job, Dan Bob. 
the blue he's badger. He's a piece of plywood. He's my life. <laughs> Mascot of the police force. And Dan Bob's life. Defender of truth. Guardian of proof. <laughs> Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Please look at the floor plans of the crime scene. The blue badger is not here. So? So watch what happens when we put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. <laughs> dancing. <laughs> well. Well, what? Mm. <gasps> That's right. So long as the blue badger's dancing here, it would be impossible to place a handprint at this spot on the locker. What? Oh, I love it. So good. Emma. She's back. So that means, uh, just exactly what does that mean? It means it can't be done. What are you saying? Blood traces were undeniably found on that locker. Don't look at me. I didn't put it there. Mr. Wright, think it through scientifically. Emma, yeah, you're back. I mean, not a ghost. <laughs> on that afternoon, I mean, I could be a ghost. You don't really, I don't, I don't I'm actually, I don't, I'm not touching anything from my, my notepad. Mr. Wright. Emma has been dead for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger into the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on that locker. So that means this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in? <laughs> for one moment. I will not allow such far-fetched balderdash in my courtroom. Yeah, well, you're bald. And dash no! <laughs> Meets on far fetched, what Your Honor. Are you? <laughs> but, it's, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department's evidence room, huh, blood was spilled not once, but twice. B -b -b How? One time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera. Officer Meekins cut his hand from which a trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is, the other time. Dead. He just dead. <laughs> Someone bled prior to the struggle showed on this tape. It had to have been Detective Goodman when he was really murdered. What Ooh. the? Oh. Objection! That's ridiculous. I refute you. I refute you. Objection! <laughs> the murder portrayed in the security tape has been proven to be fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark found on the locker. Objection! So then, assuming this murder you purport really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence that proves it occurred. When did the first incident occur? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, I think I know what to present. The surmise. The defense claims that... Prior to Officer Meekins being cut by Jake Marshall, who was disguised as Detective Goodman, another incident took place in that evidence room. The blood mark in the locker proved this. Very well. Then tell us. When did this first incident occur? Proof must be presented. Yeah, Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Yeah. T-Mac, it occurred to Mr. 420 entered the room at 77 o'clock. <laughs> that's so true. So true, Bessie. T-Mac, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> now then, will the defense please present its evidence? What shows when the first crime took place? <laughs> How many crimes have happened on this day? Take that! Too many! If the crime took place inside the evidence room, then the perpetrator would have had to have entered the room in order to do so. An ID card is required. An ID card? Oh! The ID card record! Officer Meekins brought the blue badger pa panel into the evidence room at... Let's Protect. see here. 4.50 p.m. If the crime took place before that time, then it would be... 4.40 p.m. <laughs> well, now hold on, hold on. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Just what have you done? I never figured you had a ner you had a nerve, boy. Put off the act to witness. It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out it couldn't have been me. Hmm. Nope, I ain't getting it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't understand either. I'm ready to hand down my verdict. Miles Edgeworth, <laughs> you are guilty. It's, well, well, let's let's settle down now, please. <laughs> it's clear from the luminol test that blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Meekins and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. I would have had just 10 minutes to murder the victim, carry his body away, and clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically impossible. Not but 20 minutes on the car. other hand. I said, um, Gumshoe's like in the back, and he's like, no, you could do it, Edward, I believe in you. You could totally do all that if you really had the brain power to do, or if you really were determined, and I believe that you are the most determined person I've ever met in my life. Miles Edward Paul, you could totally kill that man and clean up all the blood. He did it. I'm thank, so proud of him. Thank you, totally detective. Could. Thank you, detective. I'm going you to know, go get Starbucks to know. Even then comes, you have to like fucking run out of the room. <laughs> that would mean the crime must have taken place before Mr. Edgeworth entered the evidence room. Let's look at the chart again. And again, oh, and again. one more time. <laughs> There's only one other card number remaining. Seven, 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 seven. Seven. Wait, are there seven, seven sevens? Seven. Oh, there are. Let's go. Seven, Let's seven, six, seven. Talk about a lucky number. But wait, this doesn't make sense. How could Officer Goodman have entered the evidence room? Since there's no record of his card being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murderer. <sighs> That's the only plausible explanation. He went in with 777777! Ooh, impression time. Jake thinking to himself that entire time Emma and Phoenix were having the convo. My, oh man, they got me real good back there. Real good, you know. You know, I'm, I'm seeing the sunset. I'm ready to ride out of here, but d dang, that, that, that defense attorney boy, I tell you, he did real good out there. <laughs> uh, um, that, that, that edgy boy could have killed him. I think he has it in him. He's a drive. I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's just, it's he just the drive. drive. <laughs> get the drive, you know. Get the drive, get the power. Mr. Edgeworth, please look into this ASAP as possible. Possible? <laughs> or as ASAP as possible. Find out whose ID number is 777777777. That, that's well, eight of sevens. The <laughs> that's one seven too many, Your Honor. You're in character. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm unable to look up the owner of that ID card. At least, at present. What? No, no problem, Ruthie. <laughs> Explain yourself, son. The ID number is 777-7777 belongs to someone with the rank of Captain or higher. Someone who is a so-called executive officer. We don't have the authority to inquire into such a person's identity. Objection! Objection. <sighs> but that's ridiculous just how... I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There is one situation in which we can be granted such authority. If an official charge filed against an executive is accepted. An official charge? You're all like, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries. That's how the prosecutor office operates! Scoundrel. Objection! I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate it if you would keep your slander to yourself. Slander, is it? Okay. Let me ask a question. Yes. No, not to you, to her, the defendant sitting over there. Your own little executive. L Lalana? Objection! Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course we've looked up her ID number. And it's not seven 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 seven. Don't play me for a fool, partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. 
The Assault 9 incident? Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Lorna! Do you need the witness to repeat his question, Chief Prosecutor? I heard him fine, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of the prosecution for that trial. At the time, we... Occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. Uh -huh. Lana! I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. Defendant! Just what are you saying? I'll ask Explain you again, Chief Prosecutor. Time. During that trial two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look me and investigate in that crime in the eye and say that you did? Chief Prosecutor, you didn't. You don't have to, Officer Marshall. Mm. Why don't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. Ooh. I love how she can't even look at the fucking screen as a player when she Fuck. says that. But Lana! Even if it involved forging evidence... what I'm talking about. No. No! Holy fuck. Rabble, order! Rabble, order! Rabble, rabble, order! Rabble, rabble! Order! Lana's remarks caused such a stir. The chaos in the courtroom could not be quelled. The conclusion of the trial would have to wait until the following day. Ooh. That's how we buy time, baby. Hell yeah. yeah. That was so hard there at the end, though. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And you know what? We're going to save state. What state are we saving today? My money's on Michigan. Illinois. Oh, what'd you say? Fuck. I said Michigan. I guess we I guess we can save Illinois if we really want to. I don't know. Uh, okay. No, you're new in Michigan. Wow. I, I guess we're saving Michigan. Could you in the, in, the U, in the U.S.? <laughs> Bro, Barnabas, what state do you want to save? <laughs> Excellent state. Oh, wait, I get. Oh, sorry, you're yeah. asking me. What state do you want to save? Yeah. What? What about? State of consciousness. Oh, that's a good that's one. A, that's a good one. Who said T Mac? I would do a poll, <laughs> but we only have like what five options? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, uh, what about Lana... the Buenos Aires state in Ar in Argentina? Ooh, that's a good one. Buenos Aires. That. We can save Buenos Aires. I so, think that's a state. So, Barnabas, uh, Lana admitted to, like, forging evidence for the Joe Dark trials, and everyone was like, no, no shot, what? And it's like a whole uproar. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> I am so sorry, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry for what my sister said. She just said, like, yes, like, two minutes ago. Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. Oh, I guess Buenos Aires is a province, not a state. I... I, I didn't know. Buenos Aires? A province? <laughs> you... so, it's okay, I'm, I'm sorry. a common misconception. I was I... mistaken. I, I told so many people that that was my favorite state. Oh, I, I, I gotta make a formal apology. <laughs> the Emma Sky apology. <laughs> I never the knew YouTube that. YouTube apology. <laughs> Her apology video. Oh my. So sorry, apology. Oh. People of Buenos Aires province <laughs> for miss. Uh. I'm gonna bring out the ukulele. Moving the consciousness. Oh no. <laughs> I never 
never knew that the SL9 incident was just another name for the Joe Dark killings. Sounds like everyone's heard about these killings but me. Lana wanted Dark convicted so badly. That's why she used me. That's why she used what happened to me. What do you mean, what happened to you? It's all there on the file. Let me look it up. Hold on. Stand there for a second. Yeah, Let me look all four up. pages of it. <laughs> uh, she was a witness, I mean. It's all there. <laughs> <laughs> all the details. Joe Dark's last victim was Prosecutor Neil Marshall. When he was murdered... Uh, when, whoa, no. When, when he murdered Officer Marshall's brother, he left behind an incriminating piece of evidence. Well, what did you have to do with those killings, Emma? On the night Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered, Joe Dark tried to kill me. What? He tried to kill you? Did it work? Yeah. I'm a ghost You're now. a ghost! Yeah. <laughs> Officer Marshall's brother, Neil, he was only trying to save me. Oh. So that means you. Yes. I was a witness in the Joe Dark trial. I didn't see that one coming. Let's let's talk more. Let's talk about slime. It happened to you. Tell years me ago. about your trauma. <laughs> trauma dump! Trauma dump! <laughs> it, it happened two years ago. It was right around right about this time of year too. There was a terrible thunderstorm that day. Unusual for the season. I was alone in my sister's office. We were planning to eat dinner together once she finished her work. And suddenly, this terrifying man came bursting into the office. Go dark. It seemed like he was running from someone. He pulled a knife and screamed at me. I didn't know what was going on. Just then, Prosecutor Marshall showed up. Jake Marshall's brother? Joe Dark tried to take me hostage, but before he could, Mr. Marshall tackled him. And then... What happened? Uh, I'll never forget it. Lightning struck... I feel like struck. they missed the trick with not using the name John Dark, but I guess Clone High already did that. Oh shit. <laughs> That's so true. Lightning struck and the lights went out. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashed outside the window. Lighting up the office for an instant. What I saw then burned a permanent picture in my mind. I... I can still see it now. Permanent picture? What about the incident? Yeah, what about the incident, though, you yeah? know? I don't remember the moment with Dark... I don't remember the moment when Dark stabbed Mr. Marshall. So you weren't able to testify about that? No, I was only asked about when I was attacked. That must be why Lana... Why she made up the crime. Made it up? You mean provided bogus evidence? A weird fucking way to phrase that, but sure, bogus evidence. <laughs> it's like bogus. the two it's the 2000s, don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> the prosecutor's office wanted that guilty verdict so badly. Lana forged the evidence and Mr. Edgeworth used it. Edgeworth? Yeah. yeah. But I'm sure he didn't know anything about it. He couldn't have known he was been giving false evidence. Even so, that's when it all started. The rumors about Mr. Edgeworth, I mean, it's... It's all my fault. If I could have just testified properly, none of this would have happened. Oh, it's true. Even though he may not have known it, Edgeworth really was involved in falsifying evidence. After that case ended, Lana was never the same. She became cold like she is today. She must not have been able to face up to what she did, especially not to Emma. What about that permanent picture? What did you see in the, that instant the crime occurred? Dark knocked down Mr. Marshall and raised his knife. Neil Marshall was stabbed right in front of his in the front of this poor girl. I don't remember what happened after that. Apparently, I passed out. When I came to, Lana was cradling me in her arms. Poor Emma. You've been through so much. Actually, yes, Ruthie, uh, you can pretty much get all the mainline games on, like, modern platforms now. Yeah. Uh, this one is in the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy, if you're interested. 
Yeah. And then the trilogy after this one, the Apollo Justice trilogy, actually released, like, a week ago, I think? Yep. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I... Finally, right? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't bring myself to testify about that incident. I tried, but the words just wouldn't come out. I drew a picture, but it wasn't any good. Two years ago. You must have been 14? That's understandable. I've had the same fashion ever since. Yeah, you know, everyone knows you get really good at art when you turn 15. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> once it was all over, I made up my mind. I decided that when I grew up, I'd become a scientific investigator. I want to be able to fight crime with my testimonies and find the evidence to make an airtight case. That way, Lana would never have to forge any. I see. I think I'm finally starting to understand what makes Emma tick. But there's still something that bothers me about that crime. Something puzzling. There's something that's puzzling me, Emma. What is it? You said you were in Lana's office at that time, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. Why then would a serial killer come running in there? Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, but he was being chased by a prosecutor? Oh, there is no mystery there. Joe Dark had been taken in for questioning that day. Taken in for questioning? You mean by the police? Of course. This happened at the police department. He tried to run away halfway through the interview and fled into my sister's office. But why did he run all the way over to your sister's office? Because the detective offices in the questioning room were right across from the elevator. Hmm. Across from the elevator? But Lana was the chief prosecutor, wasn't she? No, silly. Didn't I tell you? Two years ago, Lana was a detective. She was the best in the entire force. What? That's news to me. After the Joe Dark case, she was transferred to the prosecutor's office and made chief prosecutor. Lana used to be a detective? I'd better have another talk with her. Wonder what we should do next. Well, maybe let's have another talk with her. That's a good idea, Emma. But first... I, I just really need you to tell me something about this video. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she, she says stuff. We owe, we owe our entire success in court today to this tape. <laughs> At first I thought it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 I thought this was a... Cat fart on... Oh! Oh! Mango! Sorry, man. But it turned out to be a gold mine of evidence. You know, we should... It's so good, we should use it again. I counted a total of five clues in it. It also gave the Blue Badger some publicity. Of the negative sort, that is. Hey, uh, bad, bad publicity is, is good publicity. Okay, that's right, Emma. Yeah. Make a loud sound, uh, Mango. Uh, <laughs> the fingerprint was left on the locker when Marshall was st stashing the bloody coat. I guess that blood wasn't Mr. Goodman's after all. Nope. Just a... Uh, that just have an overly zealous patrolman. So there wasn't a murder at the police department at 515 in the end. I wonder what's going to happen to Officer Marshall now. And no one's talking about 516. <laughs> the jar's pretty fat, fragile. It looks like it's about to break apart. What do you mean about to? It's already broken. I meant again. This piece was found in Detective Goodman's evidence locker. That means... This is somehow related to that other incident. What about this? Here, see this? Ah! I've noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to want to show people things. Yeah. What is what is this, a behavioral study of lawyers? Darn tootin'. Yeah. Okay, cool. I want to show her everything. Yeah, all four to five pages. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> what about Luminol? This stuff is pretty expensive. You don't say. How much? I'd say about $10 per gram. I save up my allowance to buy it. Your allowance? D does your sister give you that? Yeah. We don't have parents. R right. Well, that's you. Sometimes she even I... gives me a bottle instead of my allowance. A, a bottle of luminal testing fluid? Well, yeah, I'm gonna buy it anyway, so I mean, cuts out the middleman. Man, I guess... Emma. If 
Lana gets arrested forever. What, what's she doing? Well, I yeah, guess. Yeah, right? I guess, like, I, I guess I starved to death. Uh, <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sam, I guess I'll starve. Yeah, and it's not like I'm paying the bills. All my all my allowances, you think I'm not going to buy Luminol? I mean, come on. You know me. I, mean, I, I mean, if he's not taking I'll just take the allowance myself. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the badge. <gasps> see this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're oh. the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. <laughs> its composition is mostly silver. The gold plating is flaking a bit. Oh, yeah, we definitely read this before earlier. Yeah. She analyzed it scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. Uh, I'd give you $50 for it. Maybe, like, half a bottle of luminol. Sorry, but it's not for sale. Yep. Let's 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 move. Yeah, let's go. Lana, let's talk to her. Nope, Lana ain't here. Lana, where is she? Dun, dun, yeah. dun. Lana, Mister Wright, and oh, a bee is buzzing again. It seems like he's causing me trouble. I'm a fly. Oh my God. I love that gag. I'm a fly. <laughs> oh, you know this, Lana. I'm a fly. Falsifying evidence? I didn't think you were the type. Criminals don't mind playing foul. I should leave. But Lotta! If you're wrong, an innocent person might be found guilty. If you falsify evidence, does that make you a criminal? Oh yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Believe me. I understand the risks. Lana. Emma told me about you. I want in on that allowance. <laughs> <laughs> About how you were a detective two years ago. Oh, silly. I love it. <laughs> and how the SO9 incident was the reason for your transfer to the prosecutor's office. That's right. I know. Could you fill me in on the details? Especially about that unusual change of jobs. I suppose you have a right to know, Mr. Wright. Yeah. But please, why is, the mouse that's squeaking why you switch next to you? from squeak, detective squeak. to a prosecutor that unusual? It doesn't really seem like that huge a leap to me. I don't. Know. It's <laughs> like it's like going from a normal detective to like a chief prosecutor. Yeah, like like going <laughs> immediately to the the big wig. Exactly. She wasn't even a normal ass prosecutor. She just jumped to the top. Mm, nice. A lot. A lot of revelations were uncovered in that trial today. Not not the least of which was the fact that this case is largely connected to another one two years ago. My cat just jumped and scared the shit out of me. Oh my god! Hey, Logan! Yeah. As she should! Okay, everyone is, uh, is being a little rascally today. <laughs> oh yeah. Please go cat in fart also. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. There's still time. <laughs> There's still time. We got like another hour. There's time for Halo to, to do that. Evidence from that case was stolen. I expect it as much. I know how obsessive Sir Marshall can be. That trial, it really wasn't fair, was it? You woke you hear something? I believe. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's like a mouse. I, and there's a bee. Buzz, Buzz, I, I believed in you, There's like Lana. a cat farting somewhere. I, I Gross. <laughs> I believe that no matter what happened, you'd always stick to the truth. Couldn't be helped, Emma. At that trial two years ago, I sold my soul. Well, all drama aside, the fact of the <laughs> matter is, you know, hey, hi, at 5.15, there was no murder at the police department, so I see this as an absolute win. Tell me it's not true, <laughs> Lana. What the witness Miss Starr said about you stabbing Mr. Goodman with a knife. Lana! I don't understand. Why won't you tell us? Emma? I didn't stab him. He ran into my knife. Fuck. He ran into my knife ten times. Did he have it coming? <laughs> Please tell me he, he had, had it coming. coming. He only had himself <laughs> to blame? He only... If you had been there, you had seen it. Oh, I, I bet you I would have done, done the same. The same. <laughs> Emma? Uh. This doesn't involve just me. Lana, 
that kills people. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Lana look so fazed before. When Phoenix was back there, like, drama aside, and by 15, I, that made me think about earlier, we're like, oh yeah, Phoenix has, like, no personal stakes in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, um, let's get back to the case. <laughs> so look at the plus side, you know, like, you know. Honestly. I mean, isn't that how, isn't that how, like, a defense attorney is supposed to be? I feel like he's not supposed to have personal stakes in the case. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, because, okay, my brother is playing this game for the first time, and he's gotten to this trial, right? And every time I ask him about it, he's like, this is a kangaroo court, what the fuck's happening? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> T-Mac. I love, when I I love the freeze kangaroo court. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. It was a uh, poor Chevings. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's such a fun phrase. It's true. It is kind a fun phrase. It's to kangaroos, though. Like, what makes us think that kangaroos would, like, not have a sense of justice? That's Those true. fuckers I mean, can kick like nobody's court. business. They're not Oh my fair. god, yeah, they're scary. It's Wait true. Okay, hear me oh. out. What if Phoenix <laughs> defended a kangaroo in court? Oh, yeah, that for sure is next game coming out. Oh. Yeah, yeah that, I'm sorry, I just spoiled it for 37, but, you know. Uh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was a member of the police force two years ago. She was amazing. Look at her hair. Oh, bye, Mango. Bye, Mango. Bye-bye. They still talk about all of the cases she and Chief Gant cracked together. Chief Gant? Him? Then... He was the vice head of criminal affairs, and he still works the crime scenes. Damon Gant, he was everything I aspired to be. They were the best team ever. They solved crimes before the reports could even be filed. Emma really idolizes her big sister. But now you're chief have like prosecutor. A, uh, did they have like a minority report situation going on? I've never seen that movie. No, it's just because she said solving crimes before the reports have even been filed. Oh. Huh. What happened? I always planned on becoming a prosecutor. The reason I became a detective was... To gain experience in investigating crime scenes, so you could later use that experience in court. Dan's help in the SL9 case was critical in its resolution. After that, he became chief of police and arranged my transfer to the prosecutor's office. Maybe I should ask more about this investigation of theirs two years ago. Yeah, what about, what about the investigation? Two years ago, I was second in command of the detectives investigating Dark. What is second Lana's out, uh, uniform? What is she wearing? Oh, oh who's got these little tassels. <laughs> got a muffler. Yeah, but like, why is she wearing like a military uniform? What is that? She's... Yeah, what are those medals? <laughs> <laughs> you just read it and it's like, uh, second place in the SpaghettiOs competition. <laughs> I like to think Gant, like, made one that's like, being the best friend a <laughs> guy could ask for, like, you know, some cheesy bullshit, like, <laughs> But it's like a legitimate like medal. World's... One of them is just like, world's best big sister from, uh, from, uh... <gasps> Oh my gosh! That's really cute! And it... all, yeah, I like... SpaghettiOs, <laughs> big sister. And best friend. <laughs> and best friend. The, the we, we did it. Uh, uh, we that's going to replace uh, that's going to replace friendship bracelets. Friendship uh, <laughs> medals. <laughs> so, the the Braden trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I was think I was just thinking it. Yeah, she probably just found it at like <laughs> someone's garage <laughs> sale. She just been wearing it ever since. <laughs> so I, I mean, imagine man. someone. I mean, imagine someone who's like trying to pretend. To, I mean, there's probably a lot of like people, mainly men, who are probably have done that, who have like pretended to be veterans and to have gotten like, <laughs> what do you call them, like a purple heart or whatever, and are they just like parading around something they found in someone's closet. Everyone is hmm. sleeping on fucking oh, spaghettios. I don't know. We kind of have a pretty good, like, spread here on the poll. Second in command? Uh, okay. <laughs> we, sure, had a, sure. we, had a, we had a minute, G. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Detective Gant and I shared the same office and the same investigations. They even had the same office. 
And they were and roommates. They were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> and they were best, best friends. Yo, Anna, what's best, up? Best friends. How's the con? And Gant, Gant was the best big sister I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> We led a team of the best detectives on the force. Detective Goodman, whose case it was, Jake Marshall and Angel Starr. It was the first time Marshall worked with his brother. He was quite gung-ho. Without a doubt, Joe Dark was the serial killer. Also, Dog Vodka, vote now. Are you, are you a spaghetti eater, best best friend, or the best big sister? Also, I hope you enjoyed Dungeon Magic. It's good. I assure you, it was quite Oh, shit. <laughs> I assure you, it was quite good. <laughs> we asked him to come in for questioning. We were desperate for evidence. That was when the last murder took place. When he tried to murder Emma. Prosecutor Marshall was trying to save me from dark. You see? The first person who happened upon the scene of the crime was me. Now you tell us! Fucking A. Detective Gant and Prosecutor Marshall were the ones questioning Dark that day. It... The investigation you know, wasn't- Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. If they released this case in the, like, nowadays of, like, a DLC case for, like, I don't know, ten bucks, you probably would get your money's worth out of this case. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, for sure. The investigation was in its final stages, when Dark must have panicked. He waited until Gant and Marshall let their guards down and then fled into the room. As you or should, Or then Alice. fled the room. Damon Gant Oh, yeah. Damon oh, Gantu. absolute. From there, he ran straight to the office shared by Detective Gant and myself. That's where you found me. So you were the first person to run to the sea in Lana. It appears so. I was filling some papers while Gant and Marshall were questioning Dark. Ooh, best best friend one! Woo! Yo! Woo! Oh shit! Not, because <laughs> we she all woo when this picture comes on. She has three medals, so she can have each one of these. Yeah. But if you had to choose. Yeah, which medal do you want? For me, well, I feel like I can rule out one. By which I always use the spaghetti o eater. What the fuck? Everyone's a spaghetti o eater in this fucking house. Yeah, I'm kidding. I uh, <laughs> I actually do like spaghetti, so like. When was the last time anyone here has had a spaghetti o? Because my, mine's been like ten years. Okay, Is so spaghetti o distinct from just spaghetti? Yeah. Yeah, Besides spaghetti me. is like a very specific chef boyardee, right? Like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't even know what that is, so I've probably never had it. Oh. Um, American. American. <laughs> is it just American? Here, I'll send a picture on our Discord. I'm glad we're having this spaghetti o conversation with this picture on screen. <laughs> it really brings us together, um, you know. Well, yeah. When else? It's just like pasta and tomato sauce, right? And they're just O's. Oh, oh I don't like how okay. the image has like eyes for the spaghettios. Yeah, well, I didn't like the Chef Bernardi commercial where the can follows the little girl home. So what are we gonna do about it? Oh no. I really like my <laughs> do you eternal. That commercial, well, honestly, my eternal like concern with that kind of thing is why do we keep anthropomorphize making our food anthropomorphic? Like, why do we want to imagine that our food is alive? Because... Doesn't that make us like uh, means we're killing things and eating them? It's because I human mean, beings are... are lonely by nature, and we want to feel something as we eat. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> and I um... want to feel the scream. <laughs> but, I mean, it could be that human beings are like vicious killers by nature, and we can't stand the thought that whatever we were eating wasn't hunted and killed. I don't, you know, I don't. I'm not thinking about the live spaghetti. -os. I'm thinking about those fucking McDonald's like Happy Meal mascots now. They're fucking creepy. Oh, you mean the ones I'm that sorry. look like minions? Yeah, they're kind of like minions. The the boy, excuse me. Oh, oh sorry. You know, okay, like the, the Happy Meal box that Ew. has like. Ew. Meat club. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was just, uh, you know, those old Happy Meal boxes that look and act like the Despicable Me minions. Mm-hmm. 
They're fucking weird. Are they still using them? I feel like there was like a kind of it was kind of controversial when they were introduced like ten years ago. I don't know. I remember them though. I'm blinking so hard on what these Zimbinian esque things are. Like what? They're literally okay. So you know the Happy Meal box, right? You know, yeah. with red, it had yeah, like yeah. the McDonald's little logo on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now give it eyes, face, like a face and a tongue, and then you have like little arms, like r like um, skinny ass arms, skinny ass legs, and that's it. And they act like minions from Despicable Me. Okay. Yeah, Tim, like, what, what, what the fuck does that mean? It means they're annoying. That's what it means. Yeah, no, they're just like banana or something. <laughs> it means they're loud, annoying buffoons. No offense to the cartoon. Right. I said buffoons, not baffoons. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you have 50 hours in a yak is a hell yeah, Matt. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I gotta, I gotta... Oh, wait, which Yakuza are you doing? He's doing Yakuza 8. Oh, like a dragon. Yeah. Oh, it's Yeah, off. Infinite Wealth, the one that just came out. I have... Okay. I'm gonna be playing Yakuza 0 sometime soon. I, 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 yes. made, like, a, I made a deal with my brother, because like he would play the first Ace Attorney if I played Yakuza, and I gotta get around to doing that. Okay, to be fair, yeah. what the fuck, though? Because the first Ace Attorney, like, you know, that takes, like, I don't know, however many hours. But Yakuza 0 will take you, like, three years. If you really get into oh, it. Yeah, like, yeah, I get the zero is pretty much worth, like, I don't know, almost the entire trilogy, I think. <laughs> yeah. What was I said? Oh my it's god, so Ruthie. Good. Ruthie, it's what the so fuck good. is this? <laughs> Ruthie just sent me the minion, uh, uh, fucking... Mascot? Yeah. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna okay. share with you guys the picture. Yeah, does, the, does, this, does this, does uh, this, chap not just make you want a McDonald's right now? I fucking hate that thing, bro! I, I... I hate the team. Oh, that guy! I, I hate it. <laughs> I don't want a Happy Meal. I feel I would be worried about him eating me, to be honest. <laughs> That's actually a good point. Actually, wait, I, okay, I gotta know. When you get your, when you did get your Happy Meals, would you guys, like, get the chicken nuggets, or would you guys get the apple slices? I would always get chicken nuggets. Although they're not good, but, like, you kind of just slather them in, like, sauce. Um, mm. All I remember from when I was a kid, because I'm a freak, is oh so i really like tomatoes and mm -hmm. apparently as a kid i would request a burger and a happy meal but with nothing on it except um a tomato huh i just wanted the tomato and the meat and i didn't even eat the the bun and i don't fuck if there were chicken nuggets or apple slices i don't know i just ate meat and tomato <laughs> that's gracious. it <laughs> artemis you I'm have so a steak sorry. in that <laughs> steak uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember either of those things ever being part of a like a Happy Meal at any point I've been to McDonald's. We don't have McDonald's in Iceland anymore. We used to. They left around the financial crash in 2008. Oh. Man. Yo, Max, I used to okay. work at a, uh, at a place that had allegedly the last McDonald's burger sold in Iceland. It was kept under like a glass... Uh, like a, a glass encasing. You just bought it to put it in glass? <laughs> Apparently someone kept the last burger sold by McDonald's in Iceland and uh, put it into a glass, uh, what you call it, a glass dome. Iconic. For the record, um, I'm apple slices, but also now when you say that, I'm imagining at that dirty ass Krabby Patty and like Spongebob. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about? I, I, I can't unsee it now. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> the one where it's like the health inspector episode? Yes! Yeah! That one. <laughs> that's, how that fucking, that's how that McDonald's burger looks over there. <laughs> also, to, to, to go a bit off topic a bit more. Yo, Persona 3 Reload? This has been a long tangent, by the way. How long have we been on this <laughs> I feel like it matters. <laughs> Podcasting in front of the dead bodies. Persona 3 Reload? I was. I watching... do like to imagine that that Lana and, and Phoenix are talking about this in like in front of the dead body. <laughs> just like just like, fucking like, flashback this conversation, oh, like, like on the in the scene of a crime. Per it's so yeah, funny. Emma's, like traumatized, Lana comes into the Gant, and they're you know they have medals for being best friends, so they're like, okay, anyway. <laughs> 
Yo, Persona 3 Reload, though. I, I was watching one of my friends play it, like, last night when it immediately dropped. It's such a pretty game. It's and it's, it pre it's, exa it's pretty much just exactly Persona 3, right? Like, so it's like, if yeah. you play Persona 3, you've played this game. But it's so... The presentation is so fucking good. Like, oh, it's so good. A okay. in every I way. mean, I said I was going to play it eventually, but I might just get it pretty quick, pretty soon, since I just kind of, since I'm probably going to be taking a break from the game I just f finished. Oh, Baldur's yeah. Gate? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm, I mean, I am going to be playing that game more at some point, but I think I will be taking some, a break from it for, for, for now, at least. I feel mm -hmm. ya. Oh, an impression. Honest? Sorry, go on, go on. Lana Phoenix talking about the McDonald's of the New Mexico. That thing is terrifying. It does not make me feel happy, Lana. <laughs> I, I think it's it's rather charming. It has it has a unique look in its eyes. But you don't you... quite find it anywhere else. Oh, I can find it somewhere else. It's called that blue badger. Oh, well, Very similar vibes. If you will. No, no, blue, Lana. Blue badger. Oh, yeah. Mr. Wright? Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, oh, I thought you were going to ask me a question. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> the point is, I hate the McDonald's Happy Meal mascot. It, it's not friendly. It's not fun. I'm not loving it. Okay, you know what? You know what? Enjoy. You know what? Keep up this bit for like a minute. I got to go use the restroom. <laughs> you got to, Emma. Okay, I'll just talk to your sister about the Happy Meal. He's just meal. a little guy. Wait, who are you talking to? I just heard a mouse squeak. Oh, oh, I feel sorry, like this sorry. Happy Meal thing doesn't really qualify as just a little guy. It doesn't have the right vibes, I think. Oh, no. He like, has the vibes. No, no, no. Like, you think it, so? I feel like just a little guy has to be like a little bit timid, maybe, and like, yeah, like this just, thing doesn't have just a little guy energy. Yeah, no. You know how like it's like little, but like in all caps. You know what I'm saying? This thing is like you know the little guys are like kind of like chilling out, chilling out. You appreciate their vibes. This guy is like the little guy, but you really hate his presence. You know, you don't want him yeah, there. Like, like, you know. It's like a really loud chihuahua. Exactly. Like Teddy Persona 4. I don't want him there. <laughs> don't want him there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Uh, I'm not, I'm not loving it. McDonald's fries, though. Oh. But McDonald's, McDonald's fries. Do you like McDonald's fries? They are my favorite fast food fries. They I are really them. good. I love those fucking things. <laughs> God so you, damn it. So you are loving it. I am loving it. Okay. As okay. well as Dan, Bob, and Lana. <laughs> We are one. <laughs> I am her and she is me. It's like a fucking persona. <laughs> yeah. Come, Lana Sky. Imagine if someone had that Happy Meal box as their persona. I, I don't want him. I don't. I'm not. I'm not playing that game. That's scary. I don't know much about JoJo stands yet, but that's my stand. <laughs> Lana Sky or the Happy Meal box? Yes. Lana Sky holding the Happy Meal box. No, the meat clown. The Google meat clown. No, you know what? Don't do it. It's it's too scary for words. No, she imagine um, that if you were like in the TV world in Persona Four, mm -hmm. and your other self was that Happy Meal box. The like, would you accept them? <laughs> would you <laughs> would you accept them as your as like a part of you? I need that box right first. I need <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you do need the boss fight, okay. Yeah, um, I need Narukami <laughs> to like fight that thing first. <laughs> I need not someone it. give me five five kinds of fries uh, for a poll. I have shoestring waffle wedge. What what other fries is it? Curly. What should the last one be? Curly uh, uh steak fries? Ooh, steak oh, fries. Steak. Oh, oh uh Taco Bell Nacho fries. Ooh. Those oh, are good. Shit. Hold on. Okay. I'll get rid of Wedge. Taco Bell nacho <laughs> fries. Those are so specific. I've never had that. But there's, it's that so is. good. Never had them. When, when, good. They're, when they're back in season, oh, you should totally get some. It is so good. When they're back, Don't blame they're me, so Ruthie. fucking back. Don't blame me, Ruthie. Blame owls. <laughs> blame owls. Yeah, what the fuck is the meat, cl meat clown? Owls, I need to know this. <laughs> the meat <laughs> clown. <Owls> sent me... <laughs> She was like, he just wishes to make you happy with his meaty, meaty smile. Motherfucker. <laughs> People ask us why we're never getting through this case. <laughs> yeah, okay. no, no one ever asks. We just yeah, is, is always Dan state we're show never up anytime soon. Will he? Show up anytime soon. Will he? I enjoy yeah, your okay, let, 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 
Um, I don't know. Actually, my, hold on. Let me scroll up so I don't see that fucking happy meal. Okay. When I returned to my office, I saw three bodies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I saw three bodies on the floor and smelled blood. Three bodies? Where the fuck did that come from? I thought we were talking about Happy Meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prosecutor Marshall, the victim, Emma, who had passed out. And the suspect, Joe Dart. During the struggle, it seems Mr. Marshall struck a final blow before he died. Joe Dart had incurred a minor concussion and lay unconscious. What did you do? To be honest, I panicked. I picked up Emma, carried her out of the room, and held her. Can't blame her. After all, her sister must have been must have gone through. After that, I placed Stark under immediate arrest. Let me get this straight. You were all involved in the SO9 incident? That's right. Quite a coincidence. I don't buy it. Ooh. What are you saying? There's no way everyone involved in this trial was somehow involved in that incident. Just by chance. No, 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 I got that. What the fuck were you saying, like, for the past ten minutes? Shadows? The Happy Meal toy? Happy Meal guy? He might be my shadow. I think I accept that. I feel like like Phoenix just could have froze for like a solid five minutes and <laughs> had that entire like tangent playing inside his head. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, like JD from Scrubs. He'll just oh like look yeah. far away. Mr. Wright, where do you think we are right now? But, but, but that case was oh solved God. two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the McDonald's drive thru. <laughs> At least one person went to extremes because they didn't believe it was full, it was truly solved. So Ruthie, how this kind of works, it's kind of like you're in the position of Phoenix, right? It's kind of how like a lot of visual novels work where you don't see the main character because you're inferred to be in their position. Mm -hmm. Do you think this, the presentation could still work if you were still in first person mode during the trial? It wouldn't be as fun. Yeah. Because look at those poses on the bottom screen. They're iconic. Yeah. Maybe you would see, like, his hand pointing, like, as if it's your hand. That'd be just real but funky. That's how the case like, like, attorney VR you... or something. It's like, where would you be looking when Phoenix talks? You'd just be staring at Edgeworth, who just, like, stares at you. Like, that's not a fun visual, like, thing. Yeah. If I'm Phoenix right, I'm terrified. <laughs> Officer Marshall. Yes. His actions came as a surprise to me as well. Ever since his brother died, he's changed completely. I guess he wasn't convinced with the ruling against Joe Dark. Life doesn't end with the closing of a case. Everyone has to live the rest of their lives with their memories. That case just lousy. might not be over yet. Emma was assaulted by Dark at the police department, right? Yes, in the office that Damon Gant and I shared. The office that Mr. Gant now occupies by himself, the chief's office. Maybe we should have a look at the chief's office, the site of the SO9, fi the final SO9 murder. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. Oh boy, Phoenix has that kind of catchphrase, a gooba dooba dooba. <laughs> like I always say. <laughs> When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so what's like the occasion to say that? Can you use that in a sentence? <laughs> totally, you know? I mean, <laughs> your honor. <laughs> gabba gabba dooba dooba. <laughs> a spelling bee? All right, abba gabba dooba dooba. Can you use it in he a sentence? He has won entire cases just with that word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're right, Mr. Ray. Oh, yeah. yeah, the prosecution makes a, a valid point, but on the other hand... A gabba dooba dooba! I couldn't say it. I had, you had to do it. It's okay. I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kind of quiet around here today. You're right. The head of the department seems the same, though. Why don't we go look for some other people to talk to? Right. We can come back here later. Yeah! Later. That was a weird way to say yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So passionate. Yeah, yeah, you really don't yeah. want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah. gives the vibes of the uh, like the famous game over. Yeah. Game over. Yeah. 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 Why the fuck is this guy not behind bars? Yeah. Why the oh, fuck is he out here? <laughs> I escaped. They couldn't catch me. I told you I'd win. <laughs> oh, Mr. Howdy, Marshall. Bambina. Hi, Bambina. Bambino. I never thought things would turn out this way when I woke up this morning. Bambin X. Uh, hey, Sierra. Sierra, you never know what where life will lead you, eh, Bambina? Okay, sir. sir I should have known my luck had run out when old Billy dried up this morning. Who the fuck is Billy? <laughs> That's his cactus, you inconsiderate fuck. <laughs> Who the fuck is Billy? <laughs> Must be Sexy a cactus. cactus. Oh my god, get in! <gasps> because I remember people used to. Oh, this is so embarrassing. People used to ship Billy with Charlie. <gasps> oh, that's not embarrassing. Oh. That's very beautiful. It's embarrassing. Charlie and it. Billy? Holy shit. Say, Wait, where are Bill, you? And Billy is a cactus, right? Billy's a cactus yeah. and Charlie's a plant in our, our office. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I can see it. <laughs> New ship just dropped. Say, where are you headed? What would their Did kids look like, though? Prickly. <laughs> just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance, but we all know I won't be coming back. Tell my story. Sorry, but you can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But, Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why do prospectors head west? If ever there was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was that one. Before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Hmm. Looks like I won't be getting a steak lunch today. Guess I'll just have to go to McDonald's again. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, you know, I really like the mascots. They, they really are like appealing to my Western senses. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no, yeah, they, they, they kind of <laughs> speak to me. I, I, I think I kind of kin them. I kin them, Mr. Marshall. Oh, you kin them, eh, Bambina? All right. <laughs> So, so something was fishy about that trial from the beginning, like the famous Mick Fish. It wasn't just me either. All the detectives thought so. We had we discussed it over McDonald's. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I've never eaten as many bananas as, si as since they got those uh, those cute little guys from that animated film as the mascots. <laughs> oh God, motherfucker. Have you, noticed, you have you seen that they use they actually sell bananas using the minions as mascots? Oh my! I did. Oh my gosh! <laughs> because we haven't talked enough about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. We have to wait until there's like a really traumatic picture on screen. Yeah, we have to wait. Hold <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, okay. yeah, give give it some time. We have to set the mood. What do you mean fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, the murder weapon. The murder weapon, you mean that switchblade knife with the broken t tip. That was Joe Darks, all right. But in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. A question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. What does that mean? What, what do you think? I, I mean, there's a good chance the knife was not the murder weapon. <sighs> However, in the report that was finally submitted, the possibility had been erased. Could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence? What do you think, Phoenix? <laughs> that case left behind scars on all of us. The scars that the SL9 incident left behind. What about you? How about, Mr. How about your dead brother? <laughs> <laughs> I got the looks, but he got the brains. He was one of the best prosecutors around. Well, he also got the looks, too, let's be real. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's got a, he's got a good look. They kind of look the same. Yeah, they're, they're brothers. brothers. <laughs> they're brothers. Okay, so you know how, real quick, intrusive thought, you know how the Miles Edgeworth fucking games have, like, flashbacks cases? Yeah. What if you had one with, like, Neil Marshall? That'd be fun. Ooh. Uh -huh. I just bit mid detective when it went down. It was our first case together. And our last. How old was he? Your brother. He was 27 at the time. He was awarded the highest honor that very day. The 
highest honor. You know me. The best Being best prosecutor. Friend? The best best friend <laughs> award. <laughs> Not <laughs> that again. The, the best big sister. The best big sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My oh, brother with the best bitch. big sister. Wait, how, and that was how old is Marshall? Year. So, okay, <laughs> Marshall would be older, like regardless. Even though I do be the best big sister myself. Really, not letting any bitch die today. <laughs> no, they never oh, die. No. I'm sure these are gonna carry over to future ones. Somehow. Oh, absolutely, best big sister. It's oh. my determination to let that live forever. <laughs> As the best <laughs> youngest sister. I'm gonna be the best big sister. Mm-hmm. You have a goal, you know? Like, <laughs> you're good. Uh, what are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. And a best big big sister. <laughs> Mr. The Mr. big Marshall big sister? The, the best baby sister. <laughs> Mr. Marshall must have really been close with his brother. The day the SL9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the evidence transferal. Oh, motherfucker. You know it's getting real when I take off my hat. Interesting. Yeah, right? It was drizzling that morning, and by nightfall, there was thunder. I can't believe two years have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently, someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered, and the evidence locker, locker was empty. What about your scars? There was something going on behind the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was taken care of. Look, there's us with our happy meal. <laughs> Seems like Miss... we all have hats on. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> Miss Star was fired, and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? If, if they did something to him, too, the commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be too obvious. They. Who are you talking about? Ominari. Don't, don't get upset, Bambino. I mean, Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Gant and I mean, Sky. The best best friends. Chief <laughs> Damon, Chief <laughs> Detective Damon Gant and his second in command, Lana Sky. Who do you think gave her the best best friend medal? <laughs> <laughs> they were there wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard that of that duo. The case was the biggest step in their in both of their careers. After the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office. Oh wow, Phoenix. Oh. No, that was Phoenix. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, whoops. That's, that's right, partner. <laughs> yeah, Damon Gant, the new chief of police, arranged for that to happen. He looks way more evil in that flashback picture. Oh, what do you mean? He looks good. She's never been the same since she left. Hmm? Everybody knew, knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Scott was totally different when she was a detective. Now that he meant, now that he mentioned that, Emma said something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina. But her secret is too well guarded. I'm going to fucking stab you. Just tell me things. Well, with my knife? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I never found out. <laughs> womp womp. Lana's secret. It all started two years ago. I'm going to perform a scientific autopsy. No, a biopsy. Gonna... Are you going to update the scientific autopsy <laughs> report? <laughs> You're darn tootin', Bambino. I want that vinegar. So there you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy a partner? Rate to like one out of ten. Come on, one to ten. <laughs> nah, seven point eight. He says well, that's my story. I'm kind of imagining him like having like <laughs> been like playing a banjo while while telling the story like as a ballad. <laughs> yeah, they just sit like on that like police car over there, and he just pulls out like the guitar. <laughs> oh my gosh! He pulls out the ukulele, and it's so his good. apology. Yeah, no, I'm thinking pop. like it's it has to be like really western. Like he's like, <laughs> that's the wind like, starts yeah. blowing. <laughs> oh the my god! The sun is somehow setting. It's setting, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, we gotta be at the we gotta be at the, the fucking trial. Oh my god, no! <laughs> it was certainly enlightening. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. 
That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. He's my friend of me. <laughs> he was He's the my one enemy, who... the friend to lover. <laughs> <laughs> the pipeline, Mr. Wright. He was the one who get who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Damon Gant. Don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't even be a patrolman after today. Oh, damn. Vinegar. <laughs> Too bad I won't be around to work with you. Vinegar. When you, when you become a real scientific investigator. That's Aww. my word. Adios, Bambina. And then a horse just pulls up and he just looks like it. Uh, fuck, is, is Angel here? She's always here. You pulled out the harmonica? That's also a different never character. sleeps. <laughs> no one's oh, here today. Not even Miss Star. Everyone's probably busy looking into what exactly went down in the evidence room. That must be where the detectives are. But we provide we proved in court today that no one was murdered in the evidence room at 5 15 p.m. But what about 5 16 p.m.? No one talks about 5 16, Emma. On the day of the crime. <laughs> oh, damn, you're right. <laughs> on I'm the day of the crime. Yeah. I thought we were finally making some headway in our case. But instead, it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even more guilty. Yeah, thanks for that, Mr. Wright. <laughs> hey, no problem. I'm doing my best out here. <laughs> Hang in there, Lana. I've got to find all the answers by tomorrow. Oh. Or, you know, at least like 75% of them. You can't be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, edgy. 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 Mr. Edgy. No, Edgy, but the Mr. edgy edgy. never happened. Mr. Edgy no! isn't here. <laughs> Maybe he's being questioned by an inquiry committee. He took a real beating in court today. Yeah, like, physically. Yeah, like, you know, they just pulled out the shoe and just fucking... <laughs> they, they pulled up the fucking chonclas. I've never seen it before. <laughs> With Lana admitting to falsifying evidence two years ago... I guess we'll just have to come back later. T-Mac, every time we come yeah. in here, someone brings up the chessboard. <laughs> he, had it, should. he had it commissioned made. The fucking knights look like him, and the pawn, like the blue pawns look like Phoenix. You're so good. My man is a nerd, and I, I love him for that it. Let's see. Uh... Who was giving the smackdown to Edgeworth? Uh, Who's you know, uh, the bailiff. We never see him. Yeah. Fuck, did we ever give him a name? We've never named our bailiff. Never named our fucking bailiff. Oh, yeah. And did we name our security guard? We never have named our security guard, either. We're best suggestions friends. about the security guard, like it was supposed to be something like G odd or something. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we actually did discuss it. I know we discussed it. I think we vetoed G odd. I don't remember. I think the guy vetoed it because it'd be too confusing when we have a G in the call. That's, oh, that's completely right. fair. That's about as red as a sports car can get. Yep, it's pretty red, all right. The body was found in Edgeworth's car trunk. And what the kind lock of in the trunk metaphor is that? Red as a sports car? It's, a, it's as red as one gets, so it, she's just saying it's like super red. So the question is, why did Miss Guy choose his car? So, what model car is it? I'm something it's of a car a... gal myself. I think it's called a Sudan or a, a coupe a, or something like that. Those are car types, Mr. Wright, not models. You're a guy, aren't you, Mr. Wright? You're supposed to know these things. Just like him, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's about time I got my driver's license. It's funny, I, like one of my two-year-old students, my two-year-old student knows, like, he's like, what's your favorite car? My favorite car is a... Uh, and I'm like, how the fuck do you know this? You're two. <laughs> he's like not, so like, true, in the, like, what color is your Bugatti crowd, is he? What? What? <laughs> yeah, what color is your Bugatti? Yeah, that's like an Andrew Tate catchphrase. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Thank God I don't know enough about Andrew Tate to, <laughs> to know that. <laughs> yeah, it's a good sign that you don't know that. I mean, so. to be quite clear, I I, I do not uh, endorse that, but I do know of it. It's because of osmosis. You, it, that's it. Yeah. 
So this yeah, is exactly the famous oil drill. Well, no time like the present. I'll try to kick it over myself. Hey ya! Oh. That, that's okay. Don't don't cry. Alana Sky must be a powerful woman. I broke <laughs> Mr. Wright, I broke my foot and then I threw it up. <laughs> Can you imagine she just runs up to him <laughs> while he's like sitting in his office? <laughs> Aha! A ladder. Um, that's yeah, a I'm sorry, ladder. Ruthie. I'm I'm mentioning it with derision. <laughs> What's the difference in scientific ter terms, please? Is it scientific? Huh? Scientific? What are you talking about? Look at the basic nature of the thing, Mr. Wright. Nope. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Oh, yeah. We've read <laughs> that before. We have read that. We read that day one the moment we saw it. <laughs> we were like, oh. Um, oh. Or? This is where the cars leads a lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look a lot more, makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of a dual purpose. Aha! The theory of relativity. Oh, what? Uh, what the fuck are you? I've got to write this down. Ah! Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Maybe you know. Was Mr. Relativity German? Or was he British? Mr. Relativity? Are you sure that was his name? I mean, fuck. Do, do, do you know his name? Is he talking about Einstein? That's not a name. Look! A door! Um, this must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it, it won't open. A mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Jason Relativity, that's the name. Um, I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, no, I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> Eisenberg? Jesse Eisenberg. Can I just come back here? No. I think <laughs> Lana's the only <laughs> one that's still hanging around. So let's give her but things. But Emma was right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, well that's the assistant, you know. Yeah, you never give them things. Um, hmm. Can I show you this? No. What do you mean by that? Lana. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I you're like... Good. You're good. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today. Attorneys and prosecutors have no business showing evidence outside court. It's taboo. Especially when the interests of both parties are involved. She really means it. Can a defense attorney and a prosecutor just get along? Lana. <laughs> Can they make it work? We they are natural enemies. Sky, or like shooting stars. <laughs> I can really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. A wish right, right now. now. <laughs> oh boy. Show her the blue badger. <laughs> We're going in order. You're oh. not showing her everything. Oh god. Damn, Bob, guide, guide, yeah. please. No, 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 it's okay. We got this. We got this. Yeah, Bob, please. It says. The tension center, talk to Lana. Show her every piece of evidence that you have. Well, I guess oh, we got wow. it. Oh, okay, <laughs> wow. Show her it twice, even. Oh! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I man, see. these speedrunners must hate this. <laughs> Switchblade knife, yes, yes, yes. The shoe, I, I bet the shoe is going to do something. No? Does it have gum on it? Uh, we haven't seen him. We've only seen him in flashback today. Yeah, the poor, poor bastard. Him. Lana. Lana! Lana, please. <laughs> Lana, please. Can we pretend the airplanes in the night sky are, like, shooting stars? Hey, I wish that, like, the only thing that changed was when you show her the blue badger. Honestly. It's, <laughs> like, the only thing she reacts to. Ace, Yo, maybe, Ace maybe Attorney is so great. It has great gameplay. Great Ace Attorney <laughs> yeah, gameplay. right. It was okay. <laughs> All right. Anything new? No. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> okay, bye, Lana. Bye. Um... Maybe someone's here now. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, it's because of because Jake Marshall. Because you presented oh, everything. That, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. 
place is always this place is always pretty empty, but today it's deserted, except for that guy over there. That must mean everyone's busy solving crimes. Uh oh, this is like just regular chief guy. Uh, Barnabas? No, th this is. Oh, wait, oh it, we, it, yeah, we can do this. It's not Gaunt, ga Gaunt, Gant, but like. Uh, okay, wait, hold <laughs> on. What, what kind of, did I voice this guy last? Is this the guy who had so. like the droopy voice? Yeah. yeah. Oh, if you're looking for the others, they're all in the conference room. Uh, thanks. Well, he actually talked about to us. Huh. Was the chief prosecutor saying what she did and the decision about what to do? About Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention our statement to the media and tomorrow's trial. There's more chaos going on than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. God, Christmas was a time. Oh, God. Think that voice is so good. <laughs> so it good. is really good. It really is just droopy the dog. <laughs> Thank you. I think festive is the word usually used for those. Um, sir, we'd like to have a look around Chief Gant's office. Why are you not seeing this guy? Just <laughs> head across the hall to the other building and take the elevator to the top floor. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Am I shut the fuck up? Hey, you're <laughs> right. You can't go in there. It's off limits. Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his unique charm. Well, what are we w w wait, waiting? Wadding? What are we wadding for? Let's head to the chief's office. <laughs> wait, he just said you can't go there, right? Yeah, well, he, we does, should... he doesn't fucking yeah, care. Yeah, so like, obviously we gotta go there. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Oh. Oh, this, yes, I this forgot. This fucking place. I forgot about the organ. This fucking organ. And the, the music. Whoa, where am I? In the chief's office, silly. At least, that's what it said on the door. I wish this was my office. What the fuck? He doesn't fuck? have a pipe organ in his office. Are there tax dollars going to that pipe organ? Yeah. Well, it's not like what of it? It's gonna be to maintain like, it. He needs to be in the zone when he like solves crimes. It's like Sherlock Holmes like with his fiddle, but he has a pipe organ instead. <laughs> He's like, hold on, let me think. <laughs> and yeah. Lana Sorry, well, I need to think. <laughs> he just starts to... blasting the pipe organ. <laughs> yeah. Like... Can you imagine being in the office under this one? Oh my god. I mean, I guess it's kind of like being like in the Flying Dutchman crew when Davy Jones starts playing his pipe organ. Oh my god. Check out that pipe organ. That's real, isn't it? Hey, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They what? Used to, they, used huh? to, they used to call me Little Miss Buck. What? Oh. I thought I was a genius until they tried teaching me notes. Uh. That's funny. I think Gaunt may be a vampire. I never could remember where oh, Steve sure. was. The Castlevania boss is about to show Yo, up. He oh, did show oh, up. Are, oh my god, I didn't realize he's here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought Your turn, <laughs> Barnabas. Oh, there he is! Oh, it's you two! Chief Gant! He put that pa put that paper he was reading in his desk. He was in here the entire- what the fuck? <laughs> so, Mr. Wright, have you been swimming lately? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy lately. I've been drowning, honestly. I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full, too, with Mr. Marshall's misconduct. And Lana's provocative statement. Provocative statement? Oh, you mean about the forged evidence. Two years have passed since that incident. He was hiding in the organ. How time flies. See that big picture on the wall over there? Let's see. I see it. That's a picture of Lana, Neil, and me. I fucking see you, you little slime. Fuck slime. that boy, he's back there, you're right. You little slime ball, no, this I is see the, you. This is very, like, Stalinist, you know, when Stalin, like, uh, like, removed people from old photos of himself. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Also, I love that, like, each of, the, each of them are kind of in a slightly different resolution. They don't look like they're in the same plane. 
kind it's of because Gant, <laughs> Gant wished he never got a picture of all three of them, but he was like, they're my besties. And so he spent <laughs> all night painstakingly photoshopping <laughs> this shit together, only for you to point it out immediately. Listen, listen. We just were together in spirit. Grace. Just, we always are. Just because he's the best best friend, it doesn't mean I can't, you know, knock on his fucking photoshop skills. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We took it to commemorate our work together. Yes, you took it. Something's not right with this picture. I can't quite seem to put my finger on it, though. It's the resolution, idiot. It's a little <laughs> long, you know. Said. Hold on. Was, did it Phoenix go to our <laughs> Spoilers. Well. <laughs> my god. Anyway, I'd like to reminisce all day, but there are matters that need my attention. Oh. I'm going to lock up here, so let's go out together. Oh. We shall go together. Oh, this office. It was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, you were there. What? That case has long since been over. There's no need to investigate it anymore. All the same, oh. we still like to have a look around. I, I thought that was still gone. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said there's no need to investigate it anymore. God, I love his face. Just like his, his little mouth, too. His little mouth? Aww. Mm. Now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting to attend. I'm ready for the Damon Gamp boss fight. <laughs> Looks like we aren't welcome. It seems that case isn't over with yet, after all. What do you mean? Chief Gant and I don't request to search the crime scene. That means there must be a reason he doesn't want us to look around in there. You mean, like, a clue? There's gotta be a way we can get inside the Chief's office. Alright, the window! Emma, the ladder! <laughs> Maybe if, if you, like, play specific notes on the pipe organ, it reveals a secret entrance. Ooh. That, that'd be crazy. Okay, let's ask the chief to let us back in. Let us in! <gasps> Gumshoe! <gasps> yes! Hey, pal! Detective Gumshoe! Were you in a meeting? I was, uh, just taking a breather. My feet hurt. From sitting so long in the meeting? Huh? Actually... I had to serve everyone coffee. Oh, poor oh. Gummy. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe's still out of the loop. Say, have either of you seen Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? No. Why do you ask? He's under fire from both the police department and the prosecutor's office. It's almost like the battle's between you two in court. That sounds serious. Is it because of what my sister said? That's basically what it all boils down to, oh. yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's your sister's fault, yeah. Yeah. I falsified that falsified evidence two years ago. Now Mr. Edgeworth has the whole world after his blood again. Yikes. Again. 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 And again. And again. And again and again and again. But why would Edgeworth be blamed? It's not like he knew the evidence was forged. Lana Sky is a guilty party here, isn't she? Yeah. Right, Emma? Uh, I mean, no. Sorry, I'm getting bread. Right, um. <laughs> Regardless, the prosecutor is responsible for the evidence he presents in court. Not only that, but as you know, there's been a lot of rumors going around about Mr. Edgeworth. Those who don't like him haven't been able to do anything because of his amazing talent as a prosecutor. But now with this... Oh fuck, I was chewing bread. Really... Oh, people are saying gay! <laughs> Some people are saying he's gay. That's the rumors? <laughs> I thought that was fact. Well, I thought we all knew that. <laughs> are there really so many people who hate him? In our world, only those with talent rise to the top. Mr. Edgeworth not only had that, <laughs> but he's young. There's no better recipe I know of for making enemies. <laughs> hey, Dad, keep up the good work. Yes, sir! I love that 
Is someone else wanted? Uh, okay. Yeah. Why don't you go out for lunch again sometime? I'm tree. Yeah, I thought we, like we all had like a <laughs> yes, different like, voice in the police ensemble. <laughs> yeah. You gotta take me back to that joint sometime, okay, Dick? What is that voice? Yes, That's sir. Cool. Is that like the uh, the sundials guy from Hercules? No. <laughs> Seems you don't have any problems with enemies. Yeah, well, I'm careful not to stick out. People are accusing him of being straight. That's fucked up. Oh, fuck, that is Roz. <laughs> Edwards, Edwards will beat the straight allegations. <laughs> anyway, I'm a bit worried about him. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edgeworth just might crack. Oh, fuck. Actually, I took a look at the file earlier while the coffee was brewing. He seems genuinely concerned for Mr. Edgeworth. I, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Fucking. Well, did you <laughs> find out anything? The only evidence Dark left behind was during his final attack. His final attack? You mean. The DM? <laughs> when he killed Prosecutor Marshall, who was trying to protect, I don't know, some girl or something, I don't know, yeah, a little me. bee that was buzzing around, uh, insignificant in the face of things, really. Uh, she could have died, I I don't care, I did, like, what, it's, it's no big deal to me, it's not like, you know, she would have ever been important, right? Yeah, I mean, no personal stakes over here, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm living carefree in my life. <laughs> me. You say something? Buzz, buzz. <laughs> uh, uh, hilarious. <laughs> I'm a oh, stop, man. <laughs> man, Gumshu, you make me laugh. You're a good guy, you know that? <laughs> Traumatized little girls. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, <laughs> detective. Traumatized <laughs> little girls. Get in the corner just like laughing just to make fun of the trauma. That's wild. <laughs> No, you just like hear his laughter like from the other room when when he hears when he hears like the mention of someone's trauma. <laughs> A big hearty laugh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I still remember the the quivering tears. What <laughs> <laughs> shit he's ever seen? Oh my god! <laughs> it seems Detective Gumshoe never realized Emma was that girl. Wait, Emma was that girl? That's when he left the most incriminating evidence of all. Well, what was it? Friendship bracelet. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> I think it has something to do with the murder weapon? Some kind of metal, like a best big sister? Uh, I don't know. I, I think yeah, it's the spaghetti so... else, but okay. <laughs> oh, I forget. L look, dude, it it's all written somewhere in here, okay? Like, it this looks like a lot, but trust me, it's only four pages. <laughs> His power of recollection never fails to impress. Maybe we should show him the murder weapon. It might jog his memory. What about the crimes? Joe Dark was 42 at the time of the crime. He was just your run-of-the-mill businessman. A businessman? What made him take, take that serial killing? One day on his way home from work, he hit someone with his car. Oh. With his car? So, he went bowling. It was an accident. An accident, yes. But it transformed him into an animal! An animal? Killed a man that witnessed the accident. Then he killed a lady who saw the second crime. A kid walked by just then, so he killed him too. Then when he was burying the bodies, a jogger came up upon the scene and he was killed as well. Finally, he fucking turned himself in. God That's damn. That's crazy. Holy shit. It's really vicious. So he like killed really all those people for nothing. When he, yeah. It's a vicious cycle when he has to kill an, uh, another person who witnesses the last crime. That, that fucking nuts, dude. It seems he was a pretty careless animal. Of course, this is all conjecture. There wasn't a single shred of evidence. So he turned himself in? Yes, but in the middle of his questioning, he fled and murdered his final victim, which makes no sense. If you, like, turn yourself in, why would you flee? Prosecutor yeah, maybe. Marshall! Maybe he was just getting the edge, you know? <laughs> that crime was, yeah. That crime was witnessed by someone, too. But I, I don't know who the fuck that was. Who cares about her? But fortunately, he was arrested on the spot. It's a good thing that last witness wasn't killed. Yeah, True. sure thing. You say something? 
That last witness? Buzz, huh? Buzz, Buzz. <laughs> oh, you know oh, wait a minute. He must mean Emma. Emma, it's did like... you know you were the last witness? Oh, well, I, I like whoa, this really? bit. I like this bit, but I do feel bad for Emma. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on one hand, it's funny. On the other hand, it's a little mean spirited. Nah, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Oh, it doesn't help. It doesn't help that she's in this pose, but she's fine. Yeah, right? That's so fucking funny. <laughs> we gotta put that the murder weapon. Uh, Not that one. The other one, the switchblade. Yeah. I'm about this. Hey! Hey! Don't tell me that! And the tag attached to it with the label FO9 incident on it. I believe this would be the broken murder weapon you were speaking of. What are you doing with that? I don't know. <laughs> Since that case is closed, the knife's been locked away in a locker. Where you lock sure. things. I'm pretty sure we found it in front of you. On the day Detective Goodman was murdered, this suddenly disappeared from the locker. And was found in Mr. Edgeworth's car muffler. Wait, that, that, that's it! Remember what that incriminating piece of evidence was! When you showed me that knife, it all came back to me. Well, what is it, Detective? Quick! Before you forget again! Buzz buzz! Buzz buzz! Buzz buzz, buzz, buzz. buzz to you! <laughs> buzz buzz buzz. Go away, little fly. That's <laughs> fucking. This knife, it was Joe Dark's, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, I know. We trace it back to the store he bought it at, and it had its fingerprints on it, too. But no one actually witnessed him using it to murder anyone, right? I mean, we, we saw the car, but, like, nothing else. That's where his luck ran out. When you take a good look at the knife, you'll see it's broken! You don't have to take a good look to notice that. Let him have this. Yeah, well, anyway... But no, this no, 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 we're no. moving, no, we're moving on, we're no, moving no, no. on. No, 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 it's a new set. No, 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 Take a guess where the broken off tip <laughs> tip of the knife was found. <laughs> Our knife. It's broken. Oh no. So what did him in? Where was it? The victim, Neil Marshall, was carrying it inside his own body. You could just say he was stabbed. I mean. He was carrying it <laughs> in his own body. It was found deep inside the stab. Well, yeah, he really... Well, that's the same energy as he ran into my knife ten times. <laughs> you won't believe where the bullet was found. In the <laughs> bullet wound! I thought you were going to do, like, like a clickbait thing. <laughs> like, you won't... They found, like, the ten, ten least likely places to find a bullet. You won't believe... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. But find out after this message. Rain Shadow! <laughs> <laughs> Did it match Dark's knife? You bet. Down to the last fiber. Number 15. Burger, Burger King, King foot, lettuce. foot lettuce. Well, that, that's pretty conclusive. I mean, Burger King foot lettuce? The last thing you want on your Burger King burger is someone else's feet. But as it turns out, Speak for that yourself. might just be what you... <laughs> <laughs> she just stops. <laughs> And here I, I thought we could agree on something. <laughs> well, there you have it in a nutshell. This is the this is the Ace Attorney Thanksgiving table. <laughs> That's all I know. Can I ask you one more thing? I don't know anything else in my life. What is it? If it's money you need, you should ask Chief Gant. I still did not. Or have ask Emma. Dollars. Emma gets an allowance I hear. Yeah, it's, I, it's only Luminol. I, pal, do you think do you think Lana do you think Miss Sky would um. Let me in on that. Wait, wait, Coach, how do you know this? How do you? Word gets around. I have yours everywhere. 
We're going to get around it quick. Gumshoe, I already tried getting in on it, and uh, no, not happening. Okay, okay, we have to come up with a game plan. I'm, I'm desperate. Well, you know, okay, so the kid is the one that gets the allowance, right? So what if the kid what was kid? Oh, okay, what? so the fly... Kid <laughs> okay, so the fly <laughs> gets the allowance, right? And so, like, what if we just take a swatter and, like... What? <laughs> Hold on, fly, this, this, this doesn't involve you. Mind your own. Anyways. Gumshoe, we have to get in on the allowance. <laughs> I'm willing to do anything. Anything. I, 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 Think about all the Happy Meals we could buy with the allowance. I'm gonna go Gumshoe, now. You're on a salary. You can just buy Luminol. <laughs> it's all coming together. Like uh, uh, wiping uh, a tear from my eye. I'm, I'm gonna make like a tree and buzz off, so... Bye! I don't think trees buzz! What the fuck was that? <laughs> make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> That's not better! <laughs> <sighs> it's where, anyway, so back to the case, I guess. I guess I have a job to do. Um, it's where Prosecutor Near Marshall was murdered. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing back. No, oh. Alf is back! No, Alf is right! Think about how much we can get off happy hour with an allowance, Gumshoe! Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. Just... <laughs> hey, well, let's focus on the case right now, you know, you know? Maybe you can get an allowance <laughs> on your own time. I mean, you get paid for this, right? For this but we don't I have do? a big sister. Well, maybe Wait. you should make your own fucking metal. Anyway, the chief's out now and his office is locked. We'd like to have a look around if that's okay. <laughs> I, would you do it for a Scooby Snack? Well, any detective's ID card can unlock the door. What? Really? I didn't know. But if I let a civilian in there, I'd be charged with breach of trust. Trust breach. is all I have. Breach of trust? Not even an allowance? Simply put, I'd be canned. Oh. Not even an allowance. Sorry, that's, pal. That's fucked. I don't plan on getting fired because of you. Maybe because of someone else, but not because of you. How about this ID card? It was Detective Goodman's. That won't either. He's dead. <laughs> the data was deleted the day he died. That's fucked. Aww. Damn. They were quick. So in other words, Gumshoe is our only chance of getting into that office. I wonder if there's something we could show him that would make him change his mind. Gumshoe. The allowance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I, I, I'm trusting you <laughs> okay, on this, okay, Mr. Let's Wright. Talk. Let's talk. How much is the allowance? Oh, hey! I just bought some of that what? stuff. What?! You can go around detecting blood traces, too! What Almost like a real detective! Is that? Why do you need my allowance, then?! Wow, is that a new type? I've never seen that bottle before. Add three inches to your base height. Base height? Hey, let me see that. Based on what? Booming tall, new and improved growth formula? You mean this can't detect any blood traces? What the fuck is it? Uh, well, it's not quite the same thing as Luminol. What? So that's why the lady at the counter had that smirk on her face. No. That sounds so fucking funny. <laughs> what do we actually have to show him here again? Is I don't it know. Do we have to show him anything? Let me look. Let me share a little advice with you as a detective. You don't have a clue. Keep your trap shut. I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. She. Um. It says talk to Gumshoe. Yeah, what what do we gotta present? Um, uh, we present the switchblade, and then we uh, we're done. Okay. Well, we're we're done. We leave. We dunzies. Yeah, you move to. A, uh, I don't know if you want me to tell you. Uh, why don't we save that for next week? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. This feels like a good stopping point, unless this is like really close to the end of the investigation. Yeah. How much do we have um... left? Uh, in terms of sections, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, until the trial. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, no, that's we'll, next time. We'll call it quits. But let, 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 let's yeah. chat first. Yo, Matt, your 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 cat could hear our voices. Well, I mean, 
Of course, your cat. He want. He wants to. He wants to know how how the whole fucking uh I don't know luminol allowance plotline goes off. Yeah. I'm honored. <laughs> yeah, instead of me, the man who feeds him. I feel like that sometimes <laughs> when my cat ignores me. I'm like, excuse me, you're alive because of me. <laughs> I feel that way with Jackie sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay, impression time, and then we'll call it quitsies. I must buy offering Record. Sky Coin to Gumshoe. All right, all right, all right, all right, Mr. Gumshoe. I know you kind of threatened to kill me with a fucking fly swatter, but I got I got something that might solve your your little allowance issue. Yeah, but I was that. Okay. Have you ever heard of Bitcoin? Oh no. No what. No, I haven't, pal. What's that? It's it's just like a small part of a coin. I don't understand. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it though. I need I get I need what I I I have to get anything oh, wow. I can get. Wow, this is real easy. Okay, well I was gonna say Bitcoin, punk punk chump shit. All right, it's Sky Coin that's in that's in vogue now. If you invest in just a little bit of Sky Coin, then yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, pal. Any, any. I'm telling you, you're giving me opportunity. I will take that opportunity. Yeah. I am starving. You, you, yeah. You gotta invest. Uh. All, all I have is this fucking shampoo. I don't know what else to do, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I could be taller. Yeah, fuck it. I'll take it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? They run off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an infomercial or something. <laughs> yeah, basically. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, you seen this shit, David Gat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna call it quits here. Um, yeah. Next stream is Wednesday. I'll be doing backgrounds or some shit, and then we should be back on Wednesday for more Ace Attorney. So it should be the normal. Yes. Stage. My cat oh, just yeah. appeared. Halo just appeared. Halo says hi. Thank you for coming to stream, everyone. Thanks. And for dealing with our nonsense. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't believe we spent like probably a solid fifteen minutes looking at those corpses. 100%. Good. <laughs> this was yeah, there will like be I, a memory even though test. I had, like, even though I had like one scene, like, like <laughs> I wasted your time on quite quite a lot. No, 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 it was no. so fun having we, you. Oh my we, gosh. We waste each other's times. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, no, we all take turns passing the brain cell around, and it just. Yeah. yeah. No, cool Barnabas, it was great. All and right. don't forget, you yeah. voice the um the chief the the chief. Yeah, that right behind Gumbu. Yeah. Droopy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had technically two scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and what scenes they were? <laughs> all right. All right. Well, that's it for us. We'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful, stellar, stupendous, amazing, incredible rest of your days. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.